Well, we're back at it again, doing nothing. Am I right? And that's all we're going to be doing for a little while now, right? Now, now it, it cold today. It's not warm like it was yesterday. And yesterday wasn't warm. It wasn't cold at all. You know? It, it was like in between. But either way. There we go. There we go. Bro. Bro. You know what we're doing tonight? We're gonna be finishing my samurai. Which I should have fucking made it before I ever stream. You know, I fucking. God damn, I didn't hit record. I mean, that's fine. I don't care. I'll just go download the. Move on my life. That'll be fine, you know. But bruh, bro, we sin after we get sent over here, and that's what we're doing tonight. We're gonna fucking straight up do it. Fact. I have a new intro. Why are these commercials weird? But I don't care at the same time. Either way, I have a new intro, and it is the best intro ever. Opinion. It, it is a fact that it's the best one ever. You know, there ain't. You can't deny it. That's just the way it is. Ah. An opinion. An opinion. Opinion. There we go. Opinion has been stated. Complain time tonight, right? Right, everyone? It seems Asmon gold. It's not. Really like. Uh, hashtag world. Warcraft 9.2. So I will not be playing it as it did not really look good at all. All right. Let's see. Hmm, what else should I put? I do hope that WoW will get better at 10.0 and further. Because I don't want to be wasted. Right? I don't want my time wasted with a game that I enjoy. God damn it. What am I hearing outside? I don't know. Me and some neighbor's truck. I don't care. Theory time. I'm adding this because this seems like it's going to be interesting. What if 
Hold up first, I need to look this up. What is this? What is that? I don't DDLC. 2017. Stardew Valley. 2016. So Abby made Yuri. What if? Hashtag Stardew Valley did not exist. Would we not have Yuri from EDLC? Okay, then Doiki. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. And A from Genshin Impact? I wonder. Easier said than done. I, I really do hope World of Warcraft gets better because seeing Aswan sing, he's wasting his time, doesn't want me, make me want to play it. I mean, yeah, okay. Video games at the end of the day are arguably a waste of time. But, like, it's... It's more of a choice of it being a waste of time or not. It's not like... Like, we're, right now, Warcraft... Like, basically wastes your time. Doesn't, like, give you the option to even consider doing that. You know? I'm gonna do this while I open up. Uh... Oh yeah, I want to do reacts to this one video Asmon did earlier, but it's not to Asmon's video because his goes on for a while and I'm not going to go through all of his video, but like I'll cover the main points that or bring up some of the points he did, he said about it, and I'll bring up my points, which to a certain extent, I will mostly just agree with him on like all of his points and just move on, but I'm going to do it either way. Google Drive. Uh, just take me to the drive. He's a, he also says the story isn't bad, but or it is terrible. But here's my thing. I look for like a game that more of has good play style. If it feels good to play, I'm not really going to care about the story. But in terms of like... But like, uh... Like my thing with Final Fantasy is it feels slower than Warcraft, which of course you gotta get used to, but you'll get used to it. And it's not that bad, you know, it could be worse. This. Oh, I don't I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, that, that's pretty good samurai, right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is the samurai. Oh, boy. Random name. No, no, I need fantasy. Fantasy name generator.
All right, where's the samurai names? Well, I love this. Oh my god, I hate this cool thing. Why do they not have samurai name gen? Or is that a real name? It's interesting. The, the this doesn't have samurai names. Here, let me put this back up so everyone can see. But like, I don't see any samurai name. Oh my god. What name should I go with then? Kitsu name, damn. God damn, they have the fox people name. I kind of want to do like a lich name, if I'm going to be honest. Even though it wouldn't make sense, but I'm thinking I could make this character into a villain. If I ever decide to make a campaign. Or at least a world. He's like, I could make the world. Put in villains. And then more or less let everyone else decide. They kind of build the campaign. Like, there's... One book, uh, Acquisition Incorporated, where the DM makes an entire, makes the, 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 what do you call it? He makes the campaign, but it's like business versus business kind of thing with Acquisition Incorporated, which I really like, you know? These people. But at the same time, I feel like a lich name isn't going to really make sense with the samurai. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Genshin tech names. Alright, we can work with this. I'll work with this. Ooh, damn, Asma. Roast them. Oh, who's the one samurai dude? Is it like a Nemo, I think? Oh, who was it? It's not, it's not Zhao. Know that. Is it you? Happy. All right, well, Wilson. Yes, this guy. I want this guy's name. No one will know it's from Geshin and Panic. Nope. No, what, what was it? Shit. Alright, so I need feats, but I need to do stats first, because I need to know my stats before I do my feats, because at, right now I can uh, do this. D&D Fighter Class. Yeah, because I have... Wait. 
I could take three feats. What? Dude, where's Raptor? I need him. Hold on. There we go. I'm just telling Raptor how powerful a fighter can be versus the mage. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the mage, okay? The mage is great. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to cover something on Twitter, guy. Right? Is that a spell? No. How do I spell her? Her YouTubing name. Where is she? Wow, someone took their fucking name. Alright, it's... Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. This is fucking bullshit and terrible. Like, why does this exist? Like, why? This is fucking stupid, alright? Well, I will not be playing more Poppy Playtime as I found out. The devs are selling NFTs. On top of everything, you need to buy all six of them. Nine or parentheses ninety dollars worth and parentheses to unlock the a seventh to find mo out more about the lore, which is just insulting to the game gaming community. Please retweet this for awareness. This isn't okay. I hit like on it. Oh, that one got deleted. That's weird. Yeah, this is not okay. This is pathetic and bullshit. Like, seriously. You don't need to make it like that. There's other ways to make money. Like, this is a thing I despise about NFTs. As one said, he doesn't... Like earlier, he said... He, he wanted to do an NFT thing, but... Obviously, now with the reputation that he's had, he doesn't want to. Oh my fucking god, someone just told Asmon that because he's 30, the games are no longer fun. And I'm like, I don't think it's gonna fucking matter. Like, if Genshin Impact is still going strong when I'm but I'm in my 30s. I'm still probably going to enjoy it. Yeah, sure, it's going to have the gotcha stuff, but still. It, or let's just assume it does in this universe. But let's just let's just say, yeah, it still has it still has that. And this was posted 30 minutes ago. But very interesting. Very fucking interesting. Jesus fucking Christ, dude.
shit, I don't even have my second camera loaded up, so you guys can't even watch it. Unless this works. Yo, I could make this work. I could roll my dice on stream. I could fucking totally do this. And make this so fucking good. Holy shit. Put the dice there. Take my keyboard. My lap. We're rolling stats first, and we're not doing beats until stats are sorted. God damn it. God damn it. Raptor time, by the way. Boom. Wait, what? What? Can't handle Genshin. What? Nothing you have can handle Genshin? Oh my god. That's fucking terrible. Nintendo slash Miho Yo verse. Please get fucking Genshin on to the Switch. Like right now, please. Jesus Christ, it's. I want my boy to be able to play it with me. Because Jesus Christ, that's like the only console that he basically has that will run whatever the fuck he wants. You know? So it's like, please just fucking do it. Dude, holy shit, by the way, look at this, all right? Two fucking, yeah, two fucking years. You know? I get designing a whole new game requires more than two years. Most games, I'll say. But like, putting it onto a Switch? Like, just porting it to a console? I don't think it's going to take two plus years to do it. What, well, what do I know about game design, too? That is that is what it is. But dude, Raptor. Nothing against the wizard and mage and all that in D&D, right? Fighter? Because of my build, I can have three feats at level six. Well, assuming my stats are good, which I'm about to roll, you know, I just gotta get my dice out, and I'm gonna get my Yobi uh, D6s out. Jesus Christ. Holy shit, wait, 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 wait. No, it's, okay, it's four minus one dice, that's right. But still, it's still upsetting. It's still upsetting that two fucking years, he still can't get it right. They can't get it right. Also, uh, World of Warcraft had 9.2 drop today. Which... It wasn't, it's, it doesn't seem that bad, but it seems awful. Still, it seems like none of the problems have been fixed, none of the problems are going to be fixed. So I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to touch, I'm not going to touch Warcraft if it all sucks, because I believe that Asmon doesn't like it. He gave me that impression earlier today. And I, I do hope for Blizzard to actually get off their fucking asses. And make the game good. Like Genshin's good. And Raptor wants to play it. And Raptor's sitting here going, Fuck man. I can't even play it because... I my uh, Nothing wants to run it. See? See? Even Raptor says he wants to Genshin. But no. No, Nintendo's not going to throw it on the Switch. Okay, maybe they are. Like, maybe like in the morning, they're going to post on Twitter... You can have Genshin Impact on the Switch, and we just need to wait a few hours, you know? Like, what that could be waiting for us right now. Like, someone could be doing this above the fucking enter button, like, shaking, going, Can I press it yet? Can I fucking press enter and send the tweet? And it goes global, and everyone fucking gets it on the Switch? Because here's what would happen if Miho Yo Verse slapped it onto the Switch. Nintendo would take a pay cut from the in-game purchases. You know how I know this? The game Crush Crush, I cannot take my save file from Steam on my computer and play that same game file on my phone. Even though the phone has the same like content available for it. Obviously just on the phone platform. But still, I can't do that because Steam and the Google Play Store both op operate center entities, obviously, taking a pay cut of each purchase made. 
you know, of any and all games. So it it's a decent business perspective that Nintendo could do. You know, like, same with the music. You know, like, I know that it, like, it wasn't them that copy striked it, but it's still like, dude, you could make probably a quick million off of going, here's the OST from the NES, SNES, uh, Nintendo 64, what else am I the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, uh, DS, 3DS, uh, Wii, Wii U, and, and, uh, Nintendo Switch. I think I might have missed a console. I, if I did, my bad. All right. I did my best to try to name all the Nintendo consoles. You know, I mean, I will say this PlayStation has the easiest, like, progression of their console because, you know, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you have, like, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and then Xbox Series X, I think it is nowadays. And it's like, can we just be normal with naming our consoles? Like, Sony isn't going to copy strike you for going Xbox One, Xbox Two, because, you know, you really can't copy strike a number. You know, I mean, un unless if you, you can, then what kind of fucking world do we live in then where you could copy strike numbers? <laughs> oh yeah, Raptor, I named the samurai, I named him after uh, Kazuha from Genshin Impact because Kazuha is a samurai in Genshin. Why don't you name him Paimon? I'm not playing a female, alright? It's just gonna be that simple. And it, it is, like, seriously, like, every time when I DM'd and there was a female character, I'm like, oh my fucking god, this, is gonna, this isn't gonna go well. You know, like, I, why am I doing this? Why don't I just, like, give her a temporary penis so that it can be... <laughs> So that I don't get cancelled, you know? <laughs> but then have, like, females walk around the world, so it's like, they're still there, but I don't, like, play as one, and then, you know, make everyone think that... I mean, yeah, pro strats, because I don't want to be... I don't want to be like, whoops, I made her, like, too overly sexual, and now the, the entire female community is going to cancel me, you know? At least I can watch Twitch without the lag. Dude, that's great. Can you actually watch it like above 160p? Because that'd be great. Because then you can at least see this stuff a little better. You know? Yeah, dude, that's fucking nice. Wait, then that means you might be able to play Stardew Valley on the, the laptop. And we could probably play together. I Okay, I don't know when I'm playing that, but I want to do some Genshin Impact to get the story shit done. And... God damn it. I still need to do some daily stuff in Genshin, alright? But it, it's it's just like a few bosses and then I'm done with dailies, alright? It's not like yesterday where I have to do dailies and weeklies. It's just a few bosses of doing uh, Fire Flower and I want to do Cryo Flower because Noel got upgraded so we don't need to do that. And dude, this morning I jumped on and I lasted basically every purple artifact I had like they, they don't exist anymore okay maybe there's a few that exist that's because they're equipped to a character that I don't want to switch from like Barbara she has five purple ones and the reason why is because I haven't gotten the legendary ones of those and the set she has is like perfect for healing so I'm like we're not going to change it we're going to keep her with her ultimate healing ability and then when I get the gold ones, we're going to exchange them and then yeet those purple ones out of here because, bro, we're only in here with the legendaries. We're going with, with the best of the best in the business, you know? Bro. Should I dump my dice out so everyone can see my dice collection? At least. Is this my DDLC colored dice? Yes, this is. So these are dice that I was like, I'm going to get them because I like DDLC. 
and I might as well get colored dice to look like them. At all. Because why not? And yet, I like the Yoey ones. But bro, Yuri is so harsh with the dice. You know, she like she like kicks me in the balls with a with all these rules sometimes. I'm like, bro, can you not do that please? Can you like just be nice and actually just roll? Like come on. Come on. Bro. You know what, fuck, I'm gonna show off my dice. There we go, the bag is empty. Bag is empty. Alright. Jesus Christ, this is a lot of dice. And Raptor, we're doing reacts tonight. We're only doing one react. Because it's important, it's... Political, but it involves Twitch slash YouTube, so it, it's like it like benefits, but doesn't benefit the channel. You know what I'm saying? And in, in a way, I say it's a big topic. If I'm gonna be one hundred percent honest, you know what? Raptor, I'm gonna sin tonight. All right, I'm gonna sin on stream, murder crumpet. Oh, it's a fucking ad, man. Oh. Alright, let me see how I can adjust this. How do I adjust the camera? Because, like, this is all the movement I have for the camera. So you guys can't see my dice unless I, like, move it up. Alright? And yes, my keyboard is temporary in my lap. Alright? Nothing weird's happening. Just, 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 just chill, people, alright? Just chillax. Trust me, everything is fine. For now. Yay, I can adjust it. I think I want right there. And then I want the camera over there. Bro, check the dice out. This is the entire dice collection, including this bag right here. These are all the DDLC dice. Dude, this is, this is like half of my dice collection, right? My other half is is up on the up up over there bro you know what you should do you should make her get a new one dice reveal okay give me a minute give me a minute raptor do you want to see a D, &D miniature i have and it is a miniature all right it is miniature but okay let me roll stats all right and then we'll do it but let me show off the dice I'm going to show off them one by one, all right? Like one set at a time, all right? This is the the Yuri Sayuri one, all right? Because it has blue and purple in it, all right? Okay, we're good with that, right? I'm going to be using... I'm not going to be using those to do stats, all right? It is what it is. And these ones in the bag are just D20s because they gave me they gave me two D20s per set. And I want to keep them separate because I need to find the notebook. But I have like I have like the like a tally of like which dice is performing better actually. And by the way, this area right here is where my keyboard goes. So this is why the keyboard's in my lap. Just so that we're clear. And then these are just a D2, aka a coin. So if you ever need like a, a coin flip, you, you just grab these and then you do a coin flip. So you don't need to like grab the trusty quarter. You know? You don't need to use American currency anymore. Should I make camera bigger? Oh wait, don't I have this?
You know, I think I forgot to add a mic to that one. I think I forgot to add a mic to that one, to that setup. I'm not going to do it now, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to do this. All right. But there we go. This is the... You probably... Yeah, there is no there is no audio. I'm not going through all of that. Yeah, it was weird. It, it was very weird. How did I forget to add a, an audio output to that one? Should I do it now? Does this work? Oh, it, I, I guess everyone can hear. So what, what, what I'm going to do is go back here. Shit, I'm on the wrong keyboard. You know what? It's fine. I'll just put it back in the corner. And then E. Perfect. Then we'll go back here. God damn it. You'll, you'll, you'll never guess what I have for dinner, right? You'll never guess. I guarantee it. But we're using the Yuri D4s. All right. We're using the Yuri D4s to do stats tonight. All right. All right. Hold on. Notepad so that I can have these written down. Stats. All right. You ready, Raptor? You ready for me to roll straight 18s so I, I'm, I have the most perfect character? Chicken salad? Bro. 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 You know what Asmund said the other day? Asmund said that he got a coupon to save, like, what was it, like, $3 or $2 off a salad? And he's like, it's, you know, he's like, you know what I could actually save? I could save $5 by not buying a salad. And I'm like, that's big brain stretch right there. <laughs> like, galaxy brain. <laughs> because he got this coupon from fucking uh, Uber Eats or something. Because, you know, Uber Eats wants him to come back. But he ain't coming back to Uber Eats because they fucked up his order. Because he, he ordered from the taco place. And he hates black beans. But the driver gave him black beans. All right, and it's so fucking stupid, dude. And you know what he did? He didn't complain. He just sat there and angrily ate the black beans. And he also tipped the driver 20 fucking bucks. Which I think it made his order a total of 40 fucking dollars. But anyway, should I use my right hand or left hand to roll stats? I usually roll with my right. Like, do, do I even roll good with my left? Yeah, no, I don't roll good with my left at all. All right. I mean, I could use my dice tower, but I want to keep these sin free because they haven't touched the dice tower and I don't want them to because apparently the dice tower is fucking cursed. Like, there's just a curse on it and I don't know what to do about it. Like, I don't know how to fix it. Like, do I need to, like, give it a potato and do a fucking ritual or something because I'm the potato lord, obviously? Because look at me, I have one... I have two cameras, but I'm only using one right now because I'm a fucking idiot. But, uh, six sats. Here we go. It's going to be straight 18s. Ready? Fuck. All right. He allows us to reroll once. So I'm going to reroll this one. No, 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 no. All right. It's five, five, four, which is 14. It's a fucking 14, dude. That's fucking terrible. This is this is garbage so far. I have to ask him. I, I forget how he wants us to do stats because I think he wants us to take stats in their order. So this is a 14 strength for a fighter, which doesn't do me any good, which means I can't take I can't take two feats because I, I would put four points into fucking strength to make sure I'm the ultimate fucking Chad because DM told me He's glad I'm wanting to play a samurai because we need a DPS in the group. So I'm, I want to make sure that my character, he hits so fucking hard that he becomes number one on the leaderboard, even though he's joining the campaign late. You know, like, he just I want him to just annihilate the leaderboard. I want him to be dealing like a thousand damage per session. All right. Like every set, I don't care if there's no combat. He's going to find a way to deal a thousand damage per session. And that's the way it's going to do. But here we go. We're going to try to get a straight 18 again. 
Another fucking one? No. No, this is this was worse than last time. Oh no, it's a four. Alright, so we have a five, four, and a three, which and that's a nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my fucking I mean it's dexterity and if you think about it, a samurai is supposed to be decent at dexterity. I swear to god, if I get like high wisdom and high intellect, I'm gonna be pissed off. Because I don't here's my thing. I'm so used to playing up front in, in combat that if you give me a wizard, I'm probably gonna have the wizard run up into in front of the enemy and act like he's a fucking tank and then go, oh wait, my health is a D4, not a D12 or whatever the fighter is. And then I'm gonna be dead and be like, what did I do wrong, guys? You know? Alright, stat number three. And now we get double sixes. Like, straight up double sixes right here. Jesus Christ. Six, twelve, uh, sixteen. Or... Yeah, sixteen. Jesus Christ. Intel and... Like, so far, dude, I'm getting fucking intel and wisdom. You know what that means? That means I don't want this character. <laughs> Wait, no, that's constitution. That's constitution if the DM wants us to do it that way. So 16 con, that's not bad. I'm gonna make him a, a tanky motherfucker. There's a one. There's a fucking one. It, it has a chance to do a redemption and get a, a six, but it, I don't want it to be a six because this is gonna be a fucking like intel or wisdom roll and this could be terrible. It's a four, ladies and gentlemen, so that's a 15. Two more stats to go, and then we'll see how decent this character can be. There's a one. Get that one out of here. All right, six, five is 11, 12, 13, 14. These stats are mediocre at best. All right, last roll. Last fucking roll. This is for charisma. Boy, no ones. These stats are honestly fucking atrocious. These are, are, are trash. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Jesus fucking Christ. These are the stats we have. 14, 12, 16, 15, 14, 15. This is trash. Alright, alright, Raptor. I'll let you decide for me. Do I re-roll? Because I know DM will allow us to re-roll. However, if we re-roll, I have to use the next set of stats. I cannot say, no, I'm not going to use these stats. I have to use, like, if I re-roll, these get deleted. Like, they just get deleted. They, they're not seen anymore. You can let 8-Ball decide. I don't care. I'm putting it in your hands if I, if I re-roll. Alright? Either way... If I re-roll, these stats are deleted permanently. And I'll probably use the Monica dice to see how Monica treats me. Because apparently Yuri doesn't want me. Or at least want me right now, so I figured I'll, I'll try that. Try Monica. Jesus Christ. No, that's not a D6. Where's the last one? There it is. Bam. Nah, mate. I mean, I did leave it up to you, so I'll I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Alright. I don't like it. But we're gonna roll with it. We're going to fucking roll with it because of how great these stats are looking. Alright, time to readjust the camera. If I remember how to do it. There we go. And... I am back. The fuck am I watching on Twitch anymore? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna show you my D&D miniature raptor. And I, I guarantee you're gonna be like, That's no miniature. That's not even close to a miniature. I'm gonna be like, bitch. It was sold to me as a miniature, therefore it's a fucking miniature. Alright. 
Or at least that's how chat's probably gonna react. They're gonna be like, they're gonna tell me that's not a fucking miniature. That's. That ain't shit. The hell? No! Fuck, what were the stats? No. I have to watch the VOD if I want to see it. I want to see the goddamn stats. Oh my fucking god. Can I even watch the VOD? Oh yeah, Raptor, there's a game that requires you to buy six NFTs so you can unlock the seventh NFT, which the six NFTs are $90. All right, stay with me. Stay with me. We're not done. And you have to buy the seventh one in order to unlock hidden lore about the game. You literally, like, you can play it, but really, you fucking can't. Alright, where's stats before I deleted them on accident, like, fucking moron. Alright, we have stats back, we're fine. Alright, we're fine. And this, this streamer, it's a VTuber, and she'd be like, Bitch, I don't find no NFTs. Okay, she didn't say it like that, but... Where's the miniature CJ? You said you're going to show us it. It's like been 20 minutes. Okay, okay. Chill. Chill. Settle down. Okay? Chill the fuck out. Alright? I have to stand up. Here's my miniature, guys. Alright? There we go, the miniature. There you go, you, you see the miniature. This is definitely a miniature, alright? Booyah. I have a miniature, guys. No. There we go, I hope everyone enjoyed the miniature. That ain't no miniature. Banned. Oh, <laughs> 14, 12, 16, 15, 14, 15. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them here. I will say this. I got that for free. I'm not kidding you. I swear to fucking God, all right? They, the, the store I went to, they have these redeem cards, right? And what I did is I made the shop implement a fucking rule. <laughs> because I walked out of the store with that. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> I redeemed the cards. I had enough of the cards to redeem it to get that. And then I walked out of the store with it. <laughs> yes, I'm the god. I'm the one who created the fucking rule. Because I walked out of that. And then what I also did is I traded in a bunch of old Pokemon cards that I'm never going to use ever again. And I walked out of a bunch of other shit. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> He's criminal at large, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was terrible. Undo, undo, undo. Alright. 14, 12, 16, 14, 12, 16, 15, 14, 15. Holy shit. 41. You can get a 41 stat in D&D? &D? Dude, I didn't know that. I didn't fucking know that, actually. Alright, there's my stats. I'll probably ask him later about it, but fuck. <laughs> what the fuck did I just see? What the hell did I just see? Like, literally, what did I just see? These VTubers are in a car. And in the back of the car, there's a bed with a robot 
or a doll of some sort. And then another one of the VTubers was uh, on top of it. Uh, what brand makes Pepsi? No, not Pepsi, uh, Sundrop. Uh, produced under the authority of Dr. Pepper slash 7up Incorporated. Is Dr. Pepper... You never heard of Sundrop before? Well, that's because I've never heard of Sundrop until my favorite race car drive. Yeah, I found a bottle from 1979. Still sealed. And it was a soda bottle. So it has soda from 1979. You should drink it, CJ. Okay, then I might as well just die, alright? God damn, it's already an hour into stream and I haven't done anything. I'm becoming asthma. Hydrate? I just did. I ran out because I because you told me to hydrate. Ran out. What were you talking about? Honestly, nothing. Wait, here, here's the here's the tweet wrapper. I'll read it out for you about the NFT thing. So, quote, I will not be playing more Poppy Playtime as I found out devs are selling NFTs. I have everything. You need to buy all six of them, parentheses, $90 worth, and parentheses, to unlock a seventh to find out more lore, which is just insulting to the gaming community. Please retweet for awareness. Dash, this isn't okay, end quote. Uh, we only got two characters to level 90, but hey, we're on our way there. But, uh, dude, that tweet... That's fucking disgusting. You know, that's like... That's like... Oh my fucking god. It's fucking disgusting. And it has over... It's almost at 1,500 retweets? And it's been up for an hour? Oh my god! Dude. Like, this kind of just shows you that the gaming community is more powerful than you think it is. Like, literally, we're saying, fuck NFTs. We don't want them. We want our cat girls, you know? Okay, okay, fine, I'm gonna be more realistic. We want good fucking games, where you don't have to buy $90 worth of NFTs to unlock a 7th NFT to get, which is probably gonna bring it up to, uh, Calculator. 90 divided by 6, so 50, so $105 if the last NFT is is the same price as the others. $105 to unlock all the goddamn lore of the game. Do you know how much money it costs to unlock the lore in World of Warcraft? $60. Plus whatever you pay for your subscription. But do you need to buy an NFT to do it? No! You just buy the subscription, you also buy the expansion or expansions, depending on if you're a new player or not, and then you get into it. You just get into the fucking lore, you don't need to buy a, a pathetic NFT, you know? Like, maybe you need to buy an NFT, Raptor, to play Stardew Valley. Hell, Raptor, buy an NFT, and you might be able to play Genshin Impact on your phone, or even on your laptop. Wait, I don't like the idea of NFT because it's like you don't really have true ownership of it because the IP of it actually has fucking the full control over it. That sounds fair. God damn it. It does actually. It does. Follow. 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 Ooh, Patreon. Uh... Let me text DM. Let me text DM. Stats are followed. And do I need to place them in the order I rolled them? Or can I... Place them where I'd I'd like them to. Uh, 
14, 12, 16, 15, 14, 15. My fucking god, dude. Dude, Raptor, since you can actually see this in 1080p, oh my fucking god, murder trumpet. I need you, I need you to tell me what the fuck is going on. Without, without, you know what, here, have some sound. Yeah, I don't know, I don't have a reason. What the hell is going on, Raptor? Please tell me what is going on. I'm sure you, you know the lore of this and I don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Where'd they go? Like, I need to know the lore. In your but like, what I said earlier in stream when you weren't here, Raptor, is... Oh, a, to me, a game doesn't need to have good lore right, go. if it has good game... You know? Like, if the game just feels good to play, you know? The cheese boogled the wagon, but no. <laughs> what? You're right, Bullsy. me! Well, Alright, that's you. that's enough that's, that's enough that's enough ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I will pick pick feats after stats are finalized. Send 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 it, Jesus Christ, Raptor, make it send it, send, you gotta be fucking with me. Oh no, Mark Zuckerberg, he's sucking my information out, oh, I'm sending him, I'm sending a text to him via Facebook Messenger, oh. Okay, yes, we all have a Discord with the D&D group, but we, we just got used to using Facebook Messenger that we just... Continue to succumb to it. Send! I just want it to be sent so that at least I know he has it. So that when he responds at his, at the most, like, optimal slash desirable time that he has. Then I don't have to worry about shit. I need to be here going, yep, just waiting here back. Baylor, I'm going to leave that the way it is because I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't want to fuck with it. I don't want to put stats wherever I want because obviously that 16 is going into my strength. Uh, one of these 15s is going to the constitution. The other one's going into dexterity. And then a 14 in charisma, I'll put 14 in wisdom and a 12 in intelligence. That's what I would do if you asked me. And then I would bump strength and con up Maybe con? I don't know. L. Wait, wait, uh. D&D &D custom lineage. Oh my god, I need, I need, like, Christ. Okay, is this the official? Oh my god, I could get away with it. Dude, I could straight up have an 18 con and an 18 strength and jump into the campaign and have like the tankiest build and then only have one feet. I mean, either way, I'm going to get one feat anyway. d, &D feats. I don't want the custom ones because DM's not going to accept it. All right, whatever. I'm going to assume it just sent. I'm going to open this back up. Do this, do that, do this, do this, do this, do that. Boom, I have returned. Did I hear molding? Ooh. Okay, are they gonna actually have the good ones? I'll go with critical role because 
he's just the kind of guy who's like, if it's in the books, I don't care. Oh! Basic rules. Uh... I don't think Fizzbands has it. You know it doesn't. Uh what what's the book? What's the book? Uh Volo's Guides. Uh Xanathar. I don't know if he accept Unearth Arcana, so I'm going to assume that it's an no. oath. Tasha's Cauldron. Dude Raptor, Tasha's Cauldron's one of my favorites. It's pretty damn good actually. What is happening? After help me, what is happening? Buff debuff, buff social deception. Uh you know what? D D best D for Fighter Samurai build. D&D Defensive Duelist. D&D de Defensive Duelist. No, I just need to know what it does. Raptor, off the top of your head, because I know you know this, what does Defensive Duelist do? All right, just tell me what it does. Yeah. Fuck. Bro, if I can't, it says dexterity 13 or higher, I'd have a 12. They have dual thingamajiggers in defense. That actually sounds great. I'm going to, I'm going to choose that. Source PHB, that's fine. I'll, I'll accept it. When you're wielding a finesse weapon, which you are proficient in, and another creature hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to add proficiency bonus to your AC for that attack, potentially causing the attack to miss you. Wait, 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 hold on, let's reread that because I'm like, wait, what? When you are wielding a finesse weapon, which you are proficient in, and another creature hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to add your Proficiency bonus to your AC for that attack, potentially causing that attack to miss you. Oh! Oh! I can raise my AC temporarily? It doesn't sound that bad. That doesn't sound that bad. Relax. Dude, if I can get more defense... Well, okay, here's the thing. I'm clipping that. What was that? I don't fucking know, but Raptor. Maybe someone will or turn that into an emote, and then will people will start spamming it in chat? You know, it, should I do Asmon Smash someday without actually smashing my face into the desk? Because Asmon actually did that and could have really like hurt himself, but it, you know, fuck, you know, because why not? Mounted combatant. I, I don't truly think he's just going to give us all like a mount, so I'm not going to go that. Martial Adept. Prodigy. Alert. Sentinel. Sentinel. Yeah, master of the techniques to take advantage of every drop in enemy's guard. Gain the following benefits. When you hit a creature with opportunity to attack, the creature's speed becomes zero for the rest of the turn. Ooh! Get fucking wrecked. Dude, you can't fucking move anymore. You're stuck there. And we could push you to the ground and beat the living fuck out of you, dude. Fuck yeah. Creature provoke opportunity to attack 
even if you take the get disengage action before leaving your reach. Wait, let me read that again. Creature provoke any attack from you, even if they take. Oh, you know, because disengage is supposed to prevent off current attack. But, you know, you could say, you know what? Fuck you. Your disengage action has no effect on me. Die. And then boom. Fucking wrecked. Easy. Zero depths. When a creature makes an attack against the, a target other than you, and that target doesn't have this feat, you can use your reaction to make a melee weapon attack against that creature. Doesn't sound bad. Doesn't sound bad. Doesn't sound bad. Doesn't sound Actually, wait, I could do Defensive Duelist because I, I get to slap two points into whatever stat I want, so I could take Defensive Duelist. Right, no, wait, I saw a DD in... Optimize Build? Wait, what? D&D Wiki has Optimize Builds? Wait, what the f fuck? So you, wait, <clears throat> hold up. It says here classes 1 to 3 fighter and then rogue 4 to 20. I don't really like this. I don't really like this because I'm not I'm not going with the rogue build. I'm going with a tanky motherfucker. And I don't really want to multi-class because I don't want to add that layer of, of, uh, it is nonsense, but it is not nonsense. But it's nice. Red, Reddit. GTA IRT, or ITR. You know, that makes sense, Rapper. But I'm not playing GTA because, remember, Windows thinks it's a virus. Oh yeah, alert! I forgot about that. Uh, D and D alert. Your audience look for danger. You gain the following benefits: you can't be surprised while you're conscious. Gain plus five bonus to initiative. Other creatures don't gain advantage on attack rolls against you as a result of being unseen by you. <laughs> Me, okay. Going off of the PlayStation game, the what's the game called? It's this. It's the. There's this, a really good samurai game. This would be perfect, you know. But like, I need to look more. I need to look at more feats because I need to make sure that this guy, this samurai, obviously outputs a thousand plus damage per session. Because god damn it, I'm gonna be top of the DPS leaderboard. I don't care. That's how I'm going to make make sure that the group knows that I'm the best DPS there is, there was, and there ever will be. You know? <laughs> I don't care if it takes a great sword and I do some random anime bullshit, you know? D&D &D athlete. D&D &D athlete. Did I break it? No, I said cartoon. You have undergone, uh, undergone extensive physical training to gain the following benefits. Increase your strength or dex by 1 to a max of 20. When you're prone, standing up only uses 5 feet movement. Climbing doesn't cost you extra movement. You can make a, you can make a running long jump or running high jump after moving 5 feet rather than 10. You know, that doesn't sound bad. But, but, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be doing, like, here's the thing. I kind of want my samurai to kind of, like, be a rock and stand there. What the fuck? What the hell is happening? 
But like, I, I want him to kind of be like a rock to where he can just stand there. And then, be, like, you know what Sophie does when you when I do the charge attack where she goes like, <laughs> you know, like just does the ammo, like anime slice sword rapidly fast. That's kind of what I want him to do. And then be able to be like, peace. And just back off, you know, just back off. And then rinse and repeat, jump in. <laughs> but I, I don't know. What is a great weapon master do? D and D great weapon master. Come on, I don't have that many tabs open. Okay, guys, look what look look. All right, every day on my fucking stream, I I would go do like D and D creation time. And everyone be, would be like this, all right? Every day I would play New World on my fucking stream, people would be like, oh, what? No! <laughs> no, don't break on me! I know I have a million tabs open, all right? Can I collect this? Rapper, let me collect it! Jesus Christ. What is this? What is this? What is what what is this? 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 Easy! Solved every problem. Oh yeah, uh, d d great weapon. Oh, I already got that. You learn to put the weight of a, a weapon to your advantage. Let this, letting its momentum empower your strike. You gain the following benefits. On your turn, you become an anime character of your choice. Who am I kidding? That's not what it says. On your turn, you when you... Score a critical hit with a melee weapon or reduce a creature to zero hit points with one. You can make one melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Before you make a melee attack with a heavy weapon that you are proficient with, you can choose to take a minus five penalty to the attack roll. If the attack hits, you add a plus ten to the attack's damage. Dude, this ability is really powerful. I forgot about this ability. Like... This samurai I'm building is having what was it a great sword and a glaive I believe it was and a, a long sword yeah great sword long sword and glaive so like I could literally pull off some anime bullshit with this you know have him put away his katana pull out the fucking odachi I believe it's how it's pronounced and then perform like a fucking anime move with the odachi weapon you know and be like Fuck you! And then it dies immediately. And then he could put it away, pull out the Naginita, I believe it's how it's pronounced, which is the glaive, and then just start going, die, 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 and then kill everyone at a range, you know, without having to pull out a bone arrow. Like, this seems like a legit, like, anime character kind of thing. Yeah, sure, he has three weapons. You're not budging me with the katana. That katana's staying because that's, like, one of the most, most authentic. Uh, samurai weapons that the world ever know knew about or knows about, and then the fucking Odachi. I think that's the second most well known because obviously anime uses that a lot, or at least from what I've seen. <laughs> and then the Nagan Nag and Nata. That's how it's pronounced. Nagan Naga Nata. Is the glaive, and I don't think I've ever seen an anime where like someone other than like maybe a, a town guard using a glaive or a spear. You know, what's next? What's another feat I could go with? Oh yeah, D and D Mobile. That's right, dude. Raptor, you should get D and D Mobile. I, I hear D and D Mobile is like one of the best games you can get. It's so much better than Genshin Impact. I'm kidding, Raptor. It's a feat in D&D. 
Here's what it does. Your speed increased by 10 feet. When you use dash action, difficult terrain doesn't cost you extra movement on that turn. When you can melee attack against a creature, you don't provoke opportunity attack from that creature for the rest of the, the turn, whether you hit or not. Oh my god. Dude. Like, this is kind of the build I want to do. I want him, because I know we have a paladin build. Like, a guy, I think he went paladin warlock. So, like, a padlock, as we call it. And he, I believe he's the tanky motherfucker in the group. And, uh... If I can have this, run up to him, smack the motherfucker, and then back off, you know, I could literally just smack everyone, deal some damage, be like, peace! Because this is like, this is like, a, this is like a pot of gold. But here's the problem, a pot of, there's so many pots of gold, like, I kind of want to do Great Weapon Master. Athlete sounds nice, but I'm thinking, no thank you. You know? Alert. I like it. Sentinel. I like it. Defensive Duelist. I like it. Here's the problem. I technically only have three slots right now. And I'm thinking of abandoning two of those slots to slap in some fucking points into my rolls. You know? And I swear to god, if 8-Ball dicked me over of a higher stat roll, I'm gonna be pissed off. Like, I'm literally gonna be pissed off because, bro, I fucking need good stats. Because the better stats I have, from the get-go, the more feats I can have and the more powerful I can make my character. And then everyone's gonna be like, holy shit, this is like a serious character build that can fuck shit up if we don't watch it. Well, how many ability score improvements do fighters get? Oh, custom widget from Tasha. Yeah, so this is easy. This is so easy. So I get one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. I get seven in total. So if I sacrificed two to increase some stats, because what would happen is I would slap two into dexterity to get it to a 14. I would probably slap another two into strength. Actually, no, that, so that, that's one, or that's the, that's the race bonus. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be counting that right now. So let's just assume dexterity is a 14 right now. If what I think the DM wants me to do is going to happen, which is those stats in that specific order is what I get them in on the, the left side. So let's just assume that it's a 14 right now. If I were to do, like, I would throw two points in this into strength and maybe another two points in the strength, which removes two of my possible uh, feats. Then I'd probably throw a third one into Constitution to make myself a little more tanky. I could throw a fourth one and be left with three left. Because I, I don't remember if DM wants us to go to 20 or not, but like... This is not a bad character build. Like, I might actually just take this character idea of all these feats build a separate character and give it like perfect samurai stats like have average intelligence uh, average wisdom maybe av average charisma but then have constitution dexterity and strength at like a fucking 20 you know you're playing a game with your bro bro tell your bro that he's a bro all right that's why you not type as much oh you don't i thought you i thought you used a uh... Voice to text for for this dude. I, I thought you you talked into the to a, a mic so that you can straight up just not have to type, you know. And then it's it's autocorrect that does all the screwing up, you know. I thought that's what it was. I didn't know you actually typed all this shit out, bro. You're doing a lot of work. Jeez. But I'm probably gonna take these these stats or these uh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. D&D &D Charger. <laughs> Life's hard. When you use your dash action, you can 
Use a bonus action to make one melee weapon attack or shove a creature. You move at least 10 feet in a straight, straight line. Immediately before taking this bonus action, you gain a plus 5 to the to the attack's damage. Dude. Like, I feel like I can make a boss out of this in D&D. &D. Like, yeah, it would be a very difficult boss because from the way I, I'd build it, it would be able to hit and run, hit and run, so you need, like, you would definitely need a spellcaster to, to stop him from moving at all. And then you, and then obviously have the DPS check where you can just shred his HP before he's able to, he breaks free from the spell and then hit and run, hit and run again because this boss seems like it would be exactly like that if I were to design it like this. Like, Jesus Christ. Fighting Spirit. Alright. D&D &D Fighting Spirit. Okay, it's just uh, samurai stuff. So I'm not worried about that. I'll get that when I get to the specific level of the samurai to get that. I don't know if I want to go Tavern Brawler only because I plan on having this samurai basically have his weapons glued to his hands when he's in combat. Unless it's like, oh, I need to pull one of my teammates out from death. And then, you know, that wouldn't happen. But otherwise, I think I would just glue the fucking weapons to his hand and then make it to where you're... He just fucking, like, runs and goes, All right, jumps up, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! And then just fucking destroy everything. Like, fucking absolutely destroy Raptor. But really, being a Bowmaster makes most sense for a samurai. You know, there is Fighting Spirit flavored feet instead. I want to do the samurai build because I want to go down that route. You know what? D&D &D 5e Battle Master versus Samurai. Reddit. I'm a half orc fighter in very orcish campaign. Where's the elves? Where's the dwarves? Where's the fucking Lord of the Rings? I'm shooting for Blade of an elf sort of flavor. Battle Master seems great at first glance. Samurai, if you want to swap Eastern tradition with orcish flavors, feels pretty cool as well. I am thinking GWF with great with glaive and great sword. We are starting level one. All right. Uh. Uh, D&D Samurai. D&D Battle Master. This is, like, literally, I'm, I know I'm taking stream time out to do this, but at the same time, like, I am at least having fun doing this because, holy shit, I like designing characters because I feel like they're, it's not that bad. Maneuvers, Puritize. Oh boy. Whoa. Yeah. Alright, what, what does Samurai have different? All right, that's not bad, but like, I know DM his his dice tend to be evil, so I think what would happen is that if I were to do this, five HP or five temporary HP won't matter because 
He can smack like a motherfucker. Oh, I, uh, like here's the thing. I want, I want it to be to the point to where the fucking samurai just hits hard. I don't really care about much else because DM said we need a DPS, and I'm like, I got you. Unless I go with the fucking paladin build. Then I would know exactly what I'd go for. I'd just be like, give me a shield and a sword and we'll move on. Or I'll just go with the a weapon build where there is no shield. Because to me, that's like one of my that's like my tanky pally build. Fuck. Okay, that's not bad, you know. Holy shit, dude. Wow. I, I'm not even gonna comment on what I'm seeing anymore after. Alright, we're just gonna we're going to honestly just move on. I think combat boosts are gonna be most important for this character because that's what they're saying. Because it seems like it's better dice. But at the same time. Wait, wasn't there a D and D build that could hit like thirty times in battle or something? Uh, D and D. What? What? What the fuck was it called? It, dude, there was a build in D and D that like everything had to go exactly according to plan, but you could get like twenty hits. So you get you could roll the dice twenty times to attack. Which obviously at the boss, like if it's a boss fight. Dude, you could fucking one shot that boss as this character. Like straight up, you could literally just one shot it. And then, you know, the the group would be like, "Wow." But then, you know, DM might be like, "Oh, he he just gained double HP actually, guys." But you can only do it like once per battle because of how much it takes to actually prepare it, and it's insane what you can do. It's fucking brutal. D&D most attack roll build. No. Okay, I can't think of it right now, but it, it was like definitely above 10, but under 20. All right, wait, wait. BM is more flexible, but I don't think there's maneuver nearly as powerful as two turns of advantage and resistance price attacks. For example, as a plus four and a half to attack, which would be rounded down to four because of how D and D rules work. Well, okay. Um, and damage for one attack. A level eleven samurai does six attacks with advantage, and for use one of his also level ten gets a save proficiency. It's huge. The BM gets better dice and can also get another dice with feet. Your DM plays with the optional flanking roll. The advantage feature is mostly pointless, and you're not going to be melee party. This is a major reason why Samurai doesn't appeal to as much, me as much battle mass. Hopefully, 
doesn't use wait so you're what this person is saying is samurai build doesn't appeal because of because we're not using optional flanking rule because it we always forget it so we just banned it All right, give me something else. You can get good motors to pull from. BM is also really easy to flavor as needed. Um, to... What the hell? Hold on, what the hell? I can already pick the most I don't know. Like I, either way, it's gonna be a samurai build. Specialized. Okay, so Samurai is specialized, which in a way I want. Why does the samurai isn't it like on damage? So I might do a battle master, but he's disguised as samurai. So I get like the battle master buffs, but it's a samurai build. Oh boy. Oh no, look, it's a fellow druid. Oh no, it's a furry. This guy actually brings up a really good point. If you face a, face a tier three or higher enemy, you probably will not you will pro probably will not use our best maneuvers. He's probably right because I don't think you're gonna be like going up against a dragon and then using like uh like trip attack for example, you know, or like disarming attack because yeah, can you really disarm a dragon from its like dragon breath? I mean, you could, but then that basically means you just remove the head of the dragon, and because then it can't do dragon breath, because it it can't think because its brain is dislodged from its body. So it's like I I don't know I don't know. Okay, okay, this game brings a good point. Like, parry, obviously, can work against anything, you know, even a fucking dragon if you want to. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, I'm going to leave the D&D &D stuff there because I need to know what I need to do for stats. So...
So every day on my fucking stream, I would play Genshin Impact and everyone would be like, Oh, what? Oh. And that's exactly what's happening right now. I'm sure that's exactly how Raptor feels. Exactly, I knew Raptor would feel that way. At least I'm not doing what I did yesterday and just did dailies and weeklies, alright? So give me credit that I'm not just going to be doing that, even though I only have two hours left because I spent two hours doing D&D &D and... Fuck, I didn't even do reacts, and reacts is important because this is like... Okay... She got banned? No chance. She was streaming Avatar for like 10 hours. Oh my god, she actually got banned. What? God, yeah, her channel's gone. She was watching some anime. Oh, they, they got her, bruh. Yeah. So all these events are from a few months ago when big streamers decided to... Oh, you, you saw Game 3 and your Twitch grow up already? God damn. But I still want to kind of go over it because... Well, I should probably read this, this stuff down here first. We have a few corrections and clarifications to make on the content of this episode. Disguised Toast did receive a DMCA takedown resulting in a two-day ban. This is not the same takedown he planned to orchestrate on himself with the help of another streamer, which didn't end up happening as he couldn't control the timing. Hazan's DMCA takedown was a fake submission, which Twitch retracted the claim a few days later. He's now back to making MasterChef content. We made an error when suggesting that Twitch legitimize the TV meta using Amazon Prime, not realizing Prime watch parties are a thing. Which, Asmon stated that Prime watch parties are shit. Because you have to have the Prime subscription. And then, like, like here, here's the thing. Do you, as the audience, want to watch a TV show with a streamer? I mean, maybe, but, like... Then you have to watch it on the streamer's time. And what if the streamer doesn't sh is like streams? Yeah, you're watching Smash like there. But then like, let's just say for a minute, right? The streamer is streaming when you can't watch the TV show or watch the stream, right? They're doing DMC music and Naruto. <laughs> but like the, the pre watch parties. You're at somewhere where you can't watch the stream with the, the streamer. You know, you miss an episode or two of the show. You get back and then you're like, shit, man, I missed two episodes. Now I really can't watch it with my streamer because there are three episodes ahead of me and I missed two of the episodes. So it's like, it doesn't really fucking work. And I will not be doing premium watch parties unless Twitch slash Amazon goes, hey, do this series, and here's a contract. And of course, I would make sure I have a contract lawyer to make sure contract's all good, and there's nothing, like, fishy about it and all that good stuff. But then after that, if it's, like, a thumbs up from the, the lawyer, I would probably be like, all right, I'll do it just this once or whenever I get another contract. You know, because at the end of the day, money is money. And, some, and as one goes over in this video... As one is in this video, but he goes over that Twitch streamers, like the big ones, Twitch wants them, like when they get the Twitch partnership, Twitch wants them to stream X amount of hours a month. You know, so they're they're like, we want you to stream a hundred hours a month, which okay is is easy to do because you know you can pump forty hours of content a week. Hell, you could probably do more if you really put your your ass into it. You know, you could probably knock out the hundred hours in like a week. You know, so the Twitch would probably ask for a little more than that. But that's when one thing about Twitch partner, which in a way I'm not against, but I'm at the same time I'm like, if I were to have that, what I would want is I would want the confirmation. That if I were to basically drop everything and jump on to just the Twitch and just do that, I would want to make sure that I can sustain myself without having to be like, 
oh, well, I need to do like cryptocurrency or something because I, I don't want to get into cryptocurrency. You know, or like any other more or less fishy, scammy kind of thing that like probably won't work, you know, because I just would prefer to make sure I could sustain myself, you know. And then I don't remember this part, but I meant to say month, not year when referring to streaming uh, commitments, which I un I understand. So I, I can definitely understand that about like streaming commitments, but I forget when in the video that occurs. The Jeff Bezos comment was meant as a joke as he is well known for or well known founder of Amazon, which owns and operates Twitch. We want to apologize for wrongly portraying parts of the situation and we hope that the sentiment can still shine through and raise awareness in spite of our mistakes. For more info on the subject, check out Ludwig's breakdown video here. I here's the thing. I don't mind it, but like when Ludwig went to the YouTube, he got like three coffee strikes in a row, which obviously, if you know, is like a your, your channel just gets deleted and that's it. Game over. No more channel, you know, but he's still on YouTube streaming and making content because that was the, the video up here, which is the, the this YouTuber's theory was all wrong. And it's pointing out this video. Asmon does does appear in this video. And they do have some wrong information about him, such as he streams 14 hours a day. He doesn't. He streams in the ballpark of eight hours. So he might go up to 10 hours. He might do six hours. But he lives in the the eight hour range of streaming per day, which is totally fine. I don't give a shit. But then in this video, they say he does 14 hours a day, which I mean, I can see happening. But personally, I would be like, yeah, no, I would want to do more than that. You know, like maybe tear apart and build a computer kind of thing or do a car or something. Either way, let's get into this so that we can try to make this quick and then get into Genshin. Yeah, but he got banned. That's crazy. Toast got banned? Ben? No! 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 He got banned for streaming anime that he doesn't have the license to. He doesn't have the license to stream the anime One Piece and he gets banned. Oh no! And same with Pokemon. She got banned for streaming Avatar the Last Airbender when not having the license to do so. Oh! Dude! Oh! Holy shit, dude! Oh my god. Look. You're you're streaming content that comes from a land where they are super fucking serious about DMCA and they're like on top of that shit. Like they I'm sure they have interns staring at like going through a bunch of streams drinking like fucking Red Bulls and like just staring at streams. And going, are they streaming this anime content from my the company that publishes this that I work for? And if they do see it, they're immediately on to the ban page and then they get these streamers banned. That's basically what happens. Maybe not exactly like that, okay? That's probably an over exaggeration, but that's basically what happens. So duh, these people are gonna get fucking banned for streaming content that they don't have license to from a that's from companies that are from a, a land where their laws are extremely strict about like piracy slash in copyright infringement you know so it, it's going to be obvious that they're going to or going to protect their fucking content duh no! they're coming for us not them me <laughs> Hello, internet. Welcome to Game Theory, the show that's not going to be. I will say this: this is like the the first video I've ever seen of Game Theorist. All right, I'm not joking you. I watched this on Asmon stream, but I'm doing my own reacts to it. Yes, this is my first video of watching this. Like straight up, I'm not even kidding you. 
Wow, you're such a fucking pleb. You used to watch them? Is Game Theorist decent? A long time ago? Okay, then that they're probably changed over the years, like everyone does, you know, like like I really uh, she's different than what she used to a few years ago, right? I'm sure of that. I mean probably same with you. you back in the day you, you probably were not as you are today, you know. But hey, change is good usually, you know. But either way, let, let's continue with this bullshit. Be asking you for bits or donos, but would love a tap of that subscribe. Hey. Apparently, the chat that is on this screen right now, that's supposed to mimic uh, stream chat, is apparently Asmon's chat. And Asmon does not appreciate that. You know, just making that clear, that's, that, that's what Asmon said on his stream earlier. So I, that, those are like, not his exact words, but he doesn't appreciate that. So yeah. Hey, up butter toast man. Thanks for the infinite month sub. Preach. Welcome to the theorist army, bro. Thinking of going live, I'm actually gonna be hosting a massive live stream next week to celebrate yeah, yeah, the yeah, launch yeah. of our final security. So the, there is a Twitch chat on the left or the right side of of the screen that Game Theorist edited it in, and Asmon believed it to be his chat, and he didn't really like it how Game Theorist did that. In a way, I kind of get why Game Theorist did that, just to try to mimic Twitch on YouTube so that he could be with the meta of what he wants this video to be. But either way, this this live stream that he's talking about was like last week or something. I'm not going to skip through it. We're going to watch it. We're just going to ignore this. I'm sure it's on their channel. So if you want to, feel free to watch so it. I don't care. Calendars for February 19th, shortly after that theory goes live. And it's not just going to be me either. I'm going to be joined by various members of Team Theorist, other YouTubers, and of course, all of you as we do some live theory crafting. Discussing Holy our shit, general dude. thoughts on the franchise and its latest release. So even though I just made a joke about hitting that subscribe button, you, you really should do it. And don't forget to hit that little bell too, so you're notified when that final theory drops and when we're going live. Costs a whole lot less than a Twitch sub, and with that shameless self-promotion out of the way it's time to get back to the video you know i am actually kind of curious to see how much longer fnaf is going to be dragged out until it just dies because like like with world of warcraft for example there's only so much you can do before the game is just gonna fucking die you know because like fnaf what's it based on your security guard with the fucking computer that you can select all these different cameras on and try to control the, the the animatronics. There's only so much you can do with that. So like them going into like the security breach, that's kind of a step in an, a, a fresh direction of FNAF. But I still think FNAF is just going to die at some point in its life. Kind of like basically a lot of games that like ruin popularity and then trailed off and they they're hovering somewhere or they're just dead. You know, like. Like uh, Elder Scrolls Online, you know, like it climbed and now it's down, you know, every game will eventually do that. I say yes, but right now. I don't say every game. Here's why. Look at League of Legends. That game is almost always top five on Twitch every fucking day. Like literally, I could go to here. Let's go to Twitch right now and see if it's up there. Twitch. I mean, at some point, but right now we, we don't. Fully know that because GTA 5 is up here, Apex, uh, League of Legends, it's League of Legends seems glued to the top right now. No, I'm not saying that's a bad thing or anything, but you know, it's it's going to be up there for a long time. You know, seven billion years from now. Yeah, exactly. That's what's that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be when the the universe decides, you know what? Fuck you, Earth, and then the our sun just goes kaboom, and then you know we just burn and die. Or hell, maybe by then humanity will have, like, colonized the universe and League of Legends will follow and League of Legends will never die on Twitch. You know? <laughs> but I think there's a big thing going on for GTA 5 right now because that's a lot of viewers. Just chatting. Uh, that's basically what Twitch was when it first started. So I don't truly think that just chatting is ever going to die. You know, just because that's what Twitch was designed. I believe Lost Ark, once majority of the player base completes like endgame content, 
they're going to stop playing it. Or at least stop playing it as much as they used to. Until new content's released, then they're probably going to jump back into it if they feel like it and move on. Minecraft. Minecraft's been up here a long time. It Obviously, it fluctuates. You know, it's not the best, not the worst, you know. Fuck Knight. I haven't seen it, like, drop to, like, sub-thousands in a long time, so it is what it is. Warcraft, I have seen it go down to 10k viewers at one point, but it, it's still up there, you know. ASMR, what Asmon considers ASMR, basically blowjob simulator, that's it. Or dick sucking simulator, I don't remember what he said, it was one of the two, and that's what he calls ASMR. Am I, do I agree with that? Actually, yes, because watch, I'm going to click on it, right? Oh no! What do you what do you see most? What do you see right off the fucking bat? Like literally, we're on the first two rows. What do you see right off the bat? Well, of course you see you because you're on stream. But like this one right here, and this one right here, and maybe even that one. Like Jesus Christ! I'd argue that one too. Look at this one is labeled 18 plus. None of them are me. You know what, Raptor? Say hi to YouTube, all right? Just say hi to YouTube. You need to. Because uh, you haven't said that in a long time. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We have Waifu of the Month. Hold on, everyone. Hold your horses. We have Waifu of the Month. Waifu of the Month is... Uh... Let me Google her so that I don't mess up saying her name. She's from Arzu Lane. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Let's see, which one is Twitch safe? Which one is going to be the most Twitch safe image I can find? You know what? Let's just do this one. Uh, open image, new tab, close this. This lady. That This is why through the month, all right, guys? There you go. And you guys have all of your important information. This is Waifu of the Month. Uh, let me attempt to pronounce her name. So that's Zekaya Belorusia, I believe is how it's pronounced. She's from Ezra Lane, the which is an anime. Seems I should probably close that before I get banned. You know, look what you see right off the bat, right? I'm assuming that. Yeah, look, look, 18 plus, 18 plus, like. Th that's all it is. It, it, it's base. And like, if we keep scrolling, you're going to see basically just a bunch of. There's a man doing. It. Oh, my God. Wait, there's two men doing it. Oh, my God. I thought this. I literally thought ASMR was filled with females and no males at all. Ooh, I, I'm I'm pretty sure this is a fucking anime right here. I'm not gonna click on it. I know it's a GIF because I've seen the GIF several times, but I'm positive that's an anime. They're streaming anime. They're getting fucking banned. But like, look at all this. Most of this is, I guarantee you, most different, all of this has the 18 plus filter on it. Massage? What the f hey, this is all Twitch safe, by the way, alright? Just making that clear that this is all Twitch safe. Because it's on Twitch's platform, alright? And that's a fact, actually. You know? But going back to these... Rocket League is still third. I mean, it's yeah, Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're gonna get back to that video and we're gonna see how strict YouTube can be about this shit, which isn't bad, you know? Okay, not for me. But Rocket League is usually always like top 20 at least, you know? Not bad. Super Smash Ult or Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, especially when a tournament goes live and like Charles White watches it, it, it jumps up in popularity. 
mostly because you know it's one streamer and everyone's like yo it's team moist we need to pull for them so that our boy like cola can fucking bring home the gold dude we gotta go there right now genshin i don't think i've ever seen it go sub 10,000 viewers which what i mean by sub 10,000 viewers is under 10,000 you know i think i've only i've only seen it like go as low as 16 and a half and go as high as like 30 something and it's not bad you know it's not bad yo fifa 22 how many people are destroying their playstation controller and xbox controller you know because i can't score a goal i can't block a goal either time for me to break my controller Pokemon Legend Arcarus fell, which I predicted because there's only so much you can't. Why is Town of Salem up here? Why why is Town of Salem up here? Wait, what? Oh, they're doing uh, Town of Salem with friends. I wonder if my account got banned on Town of Salem because I literally asked people to ban me. Like, I didn't do anything wrong. I was just like, hey, people, can you ban me, please? I, d I don't care. Just ban me. I don't think anyone did. <laughs> VR chat, I don't think I've ever seen that sub 1,000 viewers. So that's kind of like stuck there. You know, but I think y'all get the point that some of these games, at least the amount of time that I've been on Twitch, some of these games like late League Legends have not fallen like at all they haven't fallen out of like top 10 ever you know and then like gta 5 for the past six months i would argue it's been top 10 and it's mostly because big name streamers like saikuno xqc who else pokimane uh buddha uh holy anthony z who else? I, I don't know, whatever. But some of them are like streaming it and it, it's just big, you know, it's just the way it is. And like, Call of Booty. You know, I, a lot of people like it even though it's a shit ass fucking game. Like, my brother doesn't like it, yet he still plays it with his friend because, you know, he gets to play with his friend, so he he just plays it. He, he tries to get the most enjoyment out of it. Like, like what Asmon does with Warcraft. He does shit in World of Warcraft that he he does to get enjoyment out for himself along with his community so that he's not just like, God, what? Oh, you know, because how shit the game can be. What's ironic, YouTube has become what it is today because of its emphasis on watch time. By watching my videos for a long time, you help this channel. If you watch another video of mine immediately following, you help it even more. If I make a 15 minute long video and then you watch it for longer than my 12 minute long videos, that 15 minute one is likely to do better in the algorithm. In very exactly here's a thing asmon said i know i forget if it was around this time but asmon said that he's sure he's lost so much money that he should just go like start claiming people who've stolen his content and i agree with it but at the same time that's up that's up to asmon i i don't care what asmon does at the end of the day when it comes to his content and his channel he does what he wants he tries to protect what he wants to protect and we are going to go our separate ways, you know, even if e even if like someday I just happen to get into OTK and stream with them where I'm st I'm still going to be like, it's his channel. It's his content. I'm not really going to like worry about what he does with his content in terms of like copy striking and whatnot, whatever. Right. But at the end of the day, he's he's sure he's lost. Probably a million, at least a million plus dollars from people stealing his content. And did he like it? Not really, but it, is he crying about it? No. Because, dude, it's fucking Asmon Gold. He pulled 400,000 plus viewers on one stream when he was playing Lost Ark. He's got the fucking money. 100,000 is like a normal fucking day for him. Very, very oversimplified terms, minutes matter, which is why videos here on YouTube have gotten steadily longer over the past decade. We're uh, uh, except YouTube shorts. And here's why I completely disagree with YouTube trying to do YouTube shorts. 
YouTube streaming and still trying to continue YouTube. Because YouTube is trying to be the best of all worlds. And let me just say this. You can't be the best of all worlds because you just can't. You know, being best of all worlds is like trying to be like a fucking utopia. No one wants it. A platform built on two minute long smosh skits got transformed into one full of two hour long video essays on NFTs. But then TikTok rolled into town like a total Chad saying, hey, short videos over here. And suddenly YouTube is all like, oh yeah, we're, we're, we're Chads too. We're totally down with short videos. Even when they conflict with our watch time based algorithm and we ultimately have to build an entirely separate viewing and promotional experience to make them get any sort of visibility. Mind blown. Exactly. That's exactly what I was trying to get at too. You have to build a whole new fucking system for like advertising and the algorithm bullshit. Blowing revelation for everyone. People like short videos. Go. F I mean, true, but at the same time, like some of us want our long videos. Like, like this, for example. This is a great 16 and a half minute long explanation video. More of probably 15 minute because of like self stream or self promotion and whatnot. But still, basically 15 minutes of like content that's like. Here's what the fuck is happening, and here's what what is like happening on other platforms versus Twitch, and it's good actually. Figure the world has come full circle. Who knows? Maybe my ability to count all the way to fifty-five will become relevant again. All the way to fifty-five. So well, I don't know, but that's kind of funny. But like, Asmon's positive that. Google is going to like more or less dominate the world. A reference though, good thing I don't understand that I'm too much of a fucking idiot. But like in a in a way, I mean I didn't get it. I mean fair enough, we both didn't get it. We're both same clubs. But like I, I believe with Asmon too that I, that Google's gonna take over the world in a sense. Like at least in the internet side. Because like look what we use Google for. I'm using Google right now because this YouTube is Google. Well, YouTube was acquired by Google, but still the same difference, you know? I mean, yeah, right now, like, we don't have, like, Google Grocery Store or something like that, you know? <laughs> but Google provides their own internet, too. Like, they're their own internet service provider. Like, they literally have it. Oh... The hell is happening? No, I don't want that. I want that. But like, G Google literally has their entire. I don't know if their internet is blocked to where you can only use Chrome. And if it is, that's super scummy. But like, I doubt it is. You know, but. All the rest of the internet quickly regresses back to six-second vines. Twitch is over here as the king of long-form video. Not just an hour or two long. We're talking six, ten, four. This is why Asmon was a little upset, because Asmon doesn't stream 14 hours every day. You know, like, 10 might be the most some days. One day he did a 12-hour stream because he couldn't log into uh, Lost Ark because the servers are broken. And I think Pokimane does more than 6 hours, so like... I know he's just putting out a reference for, like, big names, but like... You know... Asmon didn't like it, and I'm just going to point it out at least. 14 hour live streams or more. And that's not just a natural evolution like what's happened over here on YouTube. That is yeah. actively what Twitch wants. It is what the platform demands. Literal hours worth of content at a time. When platforms like Twitch are contracting streamers, they're committing them not to a certain number of videos or views, but rather to hundreds of hours of committed streamed content every year. He... Okay, he kind of got that. Well, it, more or less, he did get that right, but at the same time, not everyone. I'm Twitch affiliate. No, I'm not like the Twitch affiliate. I'm Twitch affiliated. They they haven't. They've only told me I need to stream like I think it's twenty five hours a month, or something like that. And for me, that's easy zero depths, you know. And I I easily make the partner stream time, you know. It's just, I'm probably going to be last on the list because I stream like four hours a day times soon. I'm going to go back to six days a week because of D&D. &D. So that's what six times 24 hours a week. That's I mean, that's not that terrible. 
But like, look at some of these other streamers, like Asbon. Let's say he streams eight hours a day, seven days a week. Eight times seven is is I'm drawing a blank. Eight times seven, fifty six hours a week. That's not that bad, you know. He gets a hundred hours or over a hundred hours in just two weeks. That's not bad at all, you know. That's a hundred fucking hours of content on Twitch. Who doesn't love that, you know? Anyway. True story. I've had talks with Twitch multiple times over the years because I really like streaming. But the huge number of hours that I would have to commit to just pure streaming meant that I wouldn't have time for literally anything else in my life. Especially operating these channels. In short, the grind is real. And Which I don't really mind. Because if the community loves what I do and I love what I do because of the community, I'll do it. You know, I'll... I'll do like six, eight hour a day streams. You know, like when you go to work, you're usually about eight hours. You know, I wouldn't mind doing that. It would, it, to me, it, it's easy. But the hard part is getting the goddamn community. You know, like I have seen people jump, like the viewer count go up and down. And well, obviously, I've only retained one viewer because one of them. You know, it is a, a true Roblox Andy. And I'm also going to just say this. I've grown out of Roblox. I'm almost 22. I'm not a I'm not a child anymore. And I don't really want to go experience fucking high school again with with what it is, you know? Or like what I'm hearing of Roblox from from shots saying that a lot of high schoolers are playing it. I don't no thank you. I don't I had enough high school drama. I don't need any more. Fuck it all. All right. Moving on. Whatever. Streamers, massive credit to them, are forced to figure out creative ways to fill huge gaps of time. That's why over the years we've seen the rise of metas over on Twitch. <laughs> Content trends on the platform that many creators follow in order to get viewers watching them while also filling up the massive amounts of airtime that they're locked into. I wouldn't say locked into because Asmon took a four month break and went to his second channel. I don't know if Asmon's contract as a Twitch partner, because I'm positive he's a Twitch partner, I don't know if his contract is both his main channel and his second channel as one contract. I don't know if that's true, or I don't know if, if he contacted Twitch and said, hey, I need some time off. Can we put my contract of my main channel on pause for now because I'm not going to be on that channel for... A little while and then twitch was like yeah sure fine i don't know if that's the case but you're not really locked into it because i could take the next month off from affiliate and you know what would happen i would probably lose my my average viewer count because i haven't streamed for a month but i'd still be an affiliate unless twitch openly came to me with an email and said yeah, we're cutting your affiliate because you haven't streamed with us for a month. So have a good day, you know? There have been things like the gambling meta, which is taken. I despise this, by the way. I fucking despise it. Taking a lot of forms from long stretches of opening loot boxes to more explicitly just playing online slots or roulettes. There was famously the hot tub meta where streamers talked or played games in hot. Bro, look at my man Charles White over here. Look at my fucking man. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous he is. <laughs> Bro, isn't that like fucking perfection right there? <laughs> Hot tubs is part of a brilliant loophole around Twitch's clothing requirements. And it exactly. Like literally, that's it's a fucking. Is it? He is the reason Hot Tub Meadows. I argue that, but at the same time, I don't because I think it's because women wanted to like dress in minimal to no clothing so that you know when they go to do asmr now they have like a loophole in the toss where they can wear anything and everything they want you know so i think charles white is like a secondary reason because bro did you see how gorgeous he was but penguin z yeah true true you know like no homo all right just making that clear no fucking homo but like, bro 
like that's what I kind of want to look like, you know, because like, like, uh, hold on, uh, let me look this up. Weight lifter. <laughs> All right, you see this guy right here? D d ignore his face for a bit, all right? He looks, he looks like he he's about to just kill someone with the weights, right? But look at his muscles, right? Look at his muscles. Now look at this guy, an Olympic lifter, right? He's lifting at the Olympics, right? Look at this guy. Notice the difference between muscles? These are much bigger, right? These aren't. You know what he, this guy does? Steroids. Because as PewDiePie said, if it looks to be not real like this, it ain't fucking real. This is real because they don't allow you to do steroids at the Olympics. You know, the Olympics are obviously a worldwide event, so like, you know, you want to be the best of the best without like any enhancements. You know? But like, this is not what I would want to look like. To me, I'm like, that's too much. No, thank you. I don't need to look like that. I would rather. OK, he's on the thick side, but like I would lose a little weight if I look like this, you know, and be like, I'm fine, you know. But anyway, enough talking about no homo. Went off and spawned its own entire category of content. Yoga pants, twister, ASMR, mukbang, even massive games like Among. Mukbanging isn't really popular on Twitch. And mukbanging technically is a violation of twi of YouTube toss. Because in a way, it's promoting unhealthy habits of life, such as buying like 20 fucking uh, or 20 Whoppers from uh, Burger King and then eating them in one city. Like that is this guy. How many calories are in how many calories are in the whopper 677 for a 291 gram whopper let's do some math calories you know 677 times 20 13,540 do you know how much the average person how many uh Average calories for human. Okay, fine. Average amount of calories needed for human. About 2,500 for men. And if someone grabs 20 Whoppers, they've effectively eaten... Five... Basically five and a half times the normal daily like calorie count that people should like aim for so that, you know, because too many calories then turns into like to like unhealthy fat. And then, you know, so like mukbang is disgusting. It technically violates the YouTube toss because I remember going reading the toss and it said something about promoting unhealthy habits. And unhealthy habits includes mukbanging because Jesus Christ, you know how fat Nicaro Avocado is? Like, Jesus Christ, I couldn't imagine living like that. Like, if I was like that, I would I would say I don't care. I don't care what it takes. I want to lose weight. I would rather be a hundred pounds and basically no muscle than three hundred pounds and pure fat. I just wouldn't, you know? Mostly because, you know, if you're 100 pounds with, like, no muscle, you can at least eat more easily wash yourself than if you're 300 pounds and just pure fat because then, you know, it is what it is, though, like, I would, I, I'm thinking this, that Nikado Avocado is probably not going to be around for a few years. Like, he's probably going to live a few years and then... And then that's it, because 
Jesus Christ, mukbang is disgusting. And you know why? I, like, Charles White said this. But you know why people continue to watch Nikado, Nikado Avocado? Because they want to see what the fuck happens next. And they all know. He ain't gonna live long, you know? With that habit, it's pretty bad. It's really bad. Like, here, let, let me... Let me show this one channel. Joey's World Tour. My brother and I used to watch this guy all the time. No! Not you! Dude, he did a fucking mukbang? No, disgusting. Oh my god. No, dude, what this guy used to do... And now I'm seeing mukbang on his channel. What he used to do is he used to go to like... Arby's, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, and he would like get like a special like if there's a limited time like thing at McDonald's, he would go get it like the full meal like fries, whatever the special meal was and a drink and then like give it a rating out of 10 and then, you know, but now he's on fucking muck, muck banging like God damn it. like he was actually cool. Even though he he was a thick he is a thick dude, but like he at least did ratings on it, you know. You know a guy that did that like they're interesting channels. I like I I like it because then like it goes back to Asmund's point. Go watch a streamer or YouTube video about a game you're thinking about playing, and if you like what you see, you probably will like the game. If you don't like what you see, don't buy the game because you probably won't like it. You know, because if you enjoy seeing what's happening in the game, you're probably going to love that game. But it sucks to see Mukbang on this guy's channel because goddamn. Yes, yes, my my disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. I wouldn't say that, but like, dude, I had high respect for this guy. Until Mukbang. That was a food re Oh, it was that guy? Jesus Christ, I didn't know he was food review. But that sucks. I mean, it still seems like he does. Like, right here, I tried... I, it's a, some sort of veggie dog from this, this place. So it, he, he was cool, but now seeing that he's... He's mukbanging. I can't. I can't. No, I'm talking about your emotion. I mean, yeah, true. But I wouldn't say my day, my disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. I, I mean, my disappointment is immeasurable because, like, he used to be cool. And now, and now he's, now he's mukbanging. You know? Like here, let's go to YouTube toss while I reread. YouTube TOS. But my disappointment is immeasurable. My day is ruined. That was a f that was a food review, dude. But no, no, I'm talking about your emotion. No, you're talking about my emotions. But like the guy who said my disappointment is immeasurable, my day is ruined. Was he a food review guy? Oh, he was not. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Terms of service. Yeah, no, no, let's go to banned content. Harmful or dangerous content policies. Notice harmful or dangerous. Keywords. Now, this is completely public information, so I cannot be banned for this. Yeah, so the guy you're talking about for the meme isn't a food review. But, oh my god, we're doing Charles White meme now. Remember, he said he wanted the meme to die, so he buried it. So we need we need to respect his wishes and bury it, all right? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You can, you can do it. I don't care, all right? Do it if you want. Uh, eating disorders. Let's make a new one. <laughs> Eating disorders, content that praises, glorifies, or encourages viewers to imitate 
I don't know what this is. Search. Anorexia, lack or loss of appetite or food. All right, that's that's understandable. Or other eating disorders. Mukbanging can be considered an eating disorder because you're eating too many calories and then it puts too much weight on you and then it like starts to deteriorate like your in innards like your liver and other internal organs you know so it, it just doesn't help you the report of the week that was the guy he was food reviewing <laughs> Eating disorders are characterized by abnormal or disturbed eating habits which negatively affect a, health, a person's health, including eating non-food items. Now, mukbanging, it doesn't seem like they eat. Like, from what I know, they don't eat non-food items. They go to, like, Burger King, Burger King order 20 Whoppers, bring it home, and then shove it all down their throat. And in, like, one fucking sitting. Saw the video and didn't know that that's where the meme came from. Well, I know. You know, but it's disgusting that mukbanging is like this and YouTube isn't doing a fucking thing about it. But I'm not really going to try to contact YouTube and say, hey, you know, mukbanging technically is an eating disorder because you're like gouging too much food in one sitting. You know. Like, OK, I'm not like one of those guys who's like, it's full of calorie count because I, I don't. All right. I would admit I don't. But like eating five, like what was it? Four or five point or like four and a half or five and a half times the, the limit that like science has, has found to be the best. That's that's too much. You know, like it, it, it is. And then it's disgusting because then like like Nicaro Aracado has to have like a a nurse help him out. And now she has to basically help out this overweight dude who soon enough probably won't even be able to wipe his own ass. You know? And I think I said this a few days ago, if I can't wipe my own ass, then please just just stop. You know, I, I don't need it. If I can't wipe my own ass, let me go dig my own grave and that's it. All right. That's that's what I want to do. All right. I get it when I was a toddler and didn't know, oh, wipe my own ass. You know, I didn't know that because my brain wasn't big, big like it is now, you know. Oh, no, age restricted content. Oh, no, no, God damn it. Oh, yeah, there's a drop down for eating disorder or eating disorders, you know, oh. They need to ban TLC because there's people who eat plastic. Dude, have you seen the one TLC video where the, this this like 13 year old girl has like a fucking roach farm and she like loves roaches? It's disgusting. Like I would walk to her house and burn it down because good fucking God, it's disgusting. And then, like, there's some people on TLC who fucking eat a mattress, who eat plastic, who eat... Who, someone was drinking gasoline. And then, you know, they go to the doctor and they're like, Oh, so I could die from this and have major issues if I could eat this. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Whoa, holy shit, I'm mind blown. Like, dude, my mind right now looks like the galaxy brain, but, like, it's not galaxy brain. I have, like, a peanut brain because of... I didn't know about this. Dude, you can't fucking say that. We have Google at our fingertips. Unless you literally live like on a deserted island where where there's like no cellular or internet service. I could see that then because then you'd be like, I don't have internet. I don't and I probably don't have access to resources to say, hey, eating a mattress could kill you or cause long term Harmful damage. I remember this one person was drinking paint. Jeez. Us, all guys, Fortnite, Overwatch, Rust, H1Z1, basically all of them fall into the category of metas. Also, having said the word so many times already, can I just say how much I hate the word meta now because of... Yes. Like, I despise meta because meta. Like, Jesus Christ, thank you. Thanks a lot, Mark Zuckerberg. 
Facebook. You had to go and ruin another thing, Facebook. And I'm really sorry that this happened. Anyway, we did you hear that Raptor? Hold, hold up. Let's let's repeat that. This is what Mark Zuckerberg has Facebook. to say. You had to go and ruin another thing, Facebook. And I'm really sorry that this happened. Anyway, with are you though? Are you? Are you really sorry that this happened? Like, I, I don't believe it. And if you want, Raptor, you can have 8-Ball confirm it for us. But I truly don't believe it, you know? I don't think you can feel forgiveness. Dude, he's, he has to be a lizard man. He has to be. He has to be, like, some sort of lizard man. The answer to that isn't pretty, which means... He's probably a lizard man, which means we have scalies among us. With the constant search for the latest trends that can BRB? be oh my goodness. at a time, is it any surprise that one of the hottest things from 2021 to top of 2022 has been reacting to TV shows? It's easier to produce. You don't have to play anything or rely on audience participation. You can just sit there. You can watch a show that you enjoy, and you can really focus in on your witty banter. Which is why I, had, I do, try to do my best to pause the video and put my input in. So that I can put my input in and not just be like, like this guy, literally like just gluing his eyes to the screen, watching, basically just watching with the chat, the master chef. And then chat doesn't have to sit through ads or other forms of advertisement. And the channel only makes one person of, of revenue versus the entire channel of revenue that this guy has like i i think this is hazan or something he's he's up here at the top somewhere i know i i hit follow him because why not where is it okay he probably has like a lot of viewership like probably around the 10,000 20,000 view range so this master chef is missing like that many viewers that could have gone to YouTube, watched, watched it, and then be like, wow. Yeah, sure, we have to watch ads in order to see this content, but at least we're supporting the goddamn creator because, you know. Or not. Anyway, as you might expect, the TV meta was not long for this world. For as quickly as it arrived on the platform and as popular as it was, it was killed off by takedowns and DMCA notices. In January. Well, Asmon brought this point up. Twitch slash Amazon is in a rock and hard place. Because they could go out right and say you can't stream TV content. And then like the IPs of like these TV shows would then probably begin to investigate and start like trying to get this money from from the these streamers and whatnot and I'll even twitch themselves to get what they lost because of these these streamers thinking that like okay maybe in a way they're trying to explore and see what the limits of the toss are and then twitch doesn't really fully define it but they still have the toss in place and they do what they can to update it to make sure that like everyone is safe on the platform obviously and no one has any issues but it, it they are in a rock and hard place because they really just can't straight up just outright get rid of it because then, you know, IPs will be like, hmm, why is it banned from the platform? And, well, you know, they don't want to ban the streamers because they make the money. You know, you I mean, yeah, sure, okay, if you ban, like, Karma ban Pokemon on all platforms, her audience is probably going to go find another streamer to watch, you know? So that they'll just, the money will technically just go to another stream, but still, they would rather not, like, permaban someone for something stupid, you know? In January, Pokemane got a 48-hour ban after streaming episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh my god, she actually got banned. What? Less than a week later, Disguised Toast got a one-month ban for streaming Death Note. Which is false. He got a, a two-day ban, but he, tr they, okay. The thing about Twitch streamers is they try to blow shit up so that they could make money. It's stupid. A thing I want to follow is if I get a Twitch suspension, which I'm gonna- Which- Oh my god. It's so weird and stupid how people use banned, uh, suspended and one other word 
I forget what it is, but it's like among, among the banned and twit or banned and suspended uh, vocabulary. But they use them interchangeably, and it's so dumb. Because, like, usually a ban means you're gone until either you resolve it somehow or you're just gone, gone forever. While a suspension is like these two day, da two day suspensions where you're not allowed to stream for two fucking days. Butterbread, bro. Bro. No. No. Oh! No. No. And it wasn't just animated shows either. That same week, Hassan got a copyright takedown for streaming clips of MasterChef. The MasterChef meta is over. Needless to say, no one was feeling very PogChamp that week. So today- Like, look, I don't care, alright? I'm not gonna be streaming MasterChef. I'm not gonna be streaming, like, TV show shit. I'll stream shit like this and put my reaction to it. Because at least this is like a TV show where, like, TLC is- Hoping that people are going to watch it so that they can watch the ads and get money off of it. You know, like, it, it's not like that. I'm not going to be doing that. Like, sure, he has 2.8 million views as of a few hours ago on this. And then as mom brings it to light, it probably has another million views slapped onto it. But still. Like. I'm streaming to basically one other person. Are they losing millions of dollars for me? No. Because here's what Asmon said. He more or less doesn't give a shit that other people use his content. Unless it directly hurts his channel in a massive way. Like if someone were to just take his live streams, upload them elsewhere, and everyone went to that channel and started watching them there. Instead of like his VOD channel, if he has one. I forget if he does or not. You should know this because you're a big ass to Andy. Okay, yes. Alright. Maybe I should know this, but I, I don't really care. You know, but whatever. But he doesn't really care unless it, like, really impacts his channel to the point where he's having a, a major loss in revenue in some way or form, which I completely understand. I, I feel the same way. You know, like, here, let me go to, uh... Let me go to my videos real quick. CJ the AFK GM. We'll click on this stream. We're going to scroll down. Show more. This right here, what it says, feel free to make your own edits of these streams, stream VODs for either humorous memes or a recap video. I will not copy strike you. You can send the, the link on Reddit. And I post the Reddit link here or in the comments down below. I would like an editor for the future if things turn out or for the channel go well. No, any all mutes that are in the original VOD are because you do copyright claim system in order to avoid copy strike on the channel. I cannot provide the original VOD as I do as I will do what I can to avoid any all copy strikes for the channel. So in a way, I'm telling people, go make edits of my content. I don't care. And then send it to me so I can look for an editor in the future. Because like I I like making the content. I don't like editing the content. Hence why I prefer live streaming than making a goddamn YouTube video. You know? Yeah, sure, on YouTube I can play, like, a uh, Yandere simulator. And not here yet, because Yandere Dev is still in the makes of the game. And I wish him the best of luck, but at the same time, like... I want to play it, you know? You could live stream and then turn it to... That's what, that's what I do, like, you know, unless I, I, but man, that takes a lot of, I mean, true, yeah, but like, I don't, like, like, look at my channel, I usually, like, a long, t like, it depends on the day, I either stream four hours of a game, or a few hours of, of, a uh, of, um, reacts, and then the game, and I don't, I don't like, no. I mean, like a 20 minute video threading. I mean, yeah, but like, here's the thing, Raptor. I'm not gonna have that time. I'm not gonna have time to take a four hour video or, or VOD and crunch into 20 minutes. Because when I'm back into school and work, I'm probably only gonna have four hours to stream. Which means four hours of playing games, which means I will be doing farming bullshit on my stream. 
which means everyone's gonna be like, "God, what? No!" You know, it's a lot of work time, exactly. And I'm not opposed to like getting editing software because I think my parents have a subscription for Adobe, like editing software, so I can go that, like go technically borrow their subscription and use Adobe's Premiere Pro, aka the video editing of Adobe. I could, but I don't want to, you know, because like, like this is it. Like I like what Game Theorist is doing with this. Like how Game Theorist takes, like takes the this picture, and then makes all the different emotions out of it. Like a happy, sad, confused, you name it. I love how he does that. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'd rather have an editor who want more wants to do it. So that I can just make the content and then say, hey, here's the content. Now make a VOD out of it, please. And then they go, okay. They make a VOD out of it. And then boom, I slap it on YouTube and everyone's happy. You know? Because like, I here's the thing. With my VOD channel, it sucks ass. Because look at this video. And remember earlier he said like the 15 minute video is going to do better than 10 minute video. Well, I don't know if a... Four hour stream is going to do better than a, than a 15 minute video on YouTube for a lot of reasons. Most people aren't really going to want to watch a lot of a four hour stream. Most people are probably going to watch a 15 minute video of a few view of a few uh, YouTubers. You know, while they're like playing a game, eating dinner, doing something, you know, and move on through life. Today, as the dad pat of digital video, it's time we had a chat, Twitch. Come on over. Come on. Come on. Sit down. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. And, and not in your streamers. In you, Twitch. They're just doing what you taught them to do. But you, Twitch, you should know better. <sighs> You're not a kid anymore, kiddo. And with that comes some serious responsibilities. Respons Here's also another reason why you, Twitch, is basically the first platform, to, like, basically the... Twitch should be the gold standard of streaming, but it's not. And here's why it's not the gold standard of streaming. Its system is not the best. Like, YouTube is... It, their system is absolutely terrible, but, like, it's... I like it to a certain extent because if it finds reused content such as music that, you know, would DMCA you, they say, hey, you know, you should probably deal with this before you get banned and I'm like, okay, whatever, deal with it, you know, and then we move on from there. But Twitch, nah, they don't really have that. It, it seems like the IP has to have an intern staring at the screen and then copy strike it. And by the way, being an intern, I haven't experienced it, but from what I've heard on like Reddit, being an intern sucks ass, you know, because you don't really get paid yet. I mean, yeah, true in Yandere, but like, like here. I don't know if it's going to show up for my channel, so I might have to go to another channel, but. The report button. You know, where's the problem in a live stream video or clip in a whisper, private message and chat message. Isn't moderating their chat. I do, so if someone tries to get me for this, I could tell Twitch I have a mod. Even though do rapper I I I don't mind, but I I really want to get a, a real mod at some point in my life, you know? See in CJ Rooms and CJ's room or it's in CJ AFK GM's other account profiling mode. Huh? In CJ the AFK GM's other content. I don't really fully understand what they're trying to get at with that, but like profile emotes, etc. Okay. Like I'll, I'll say this with my second channel, I'm probably not going to have much. It's probably just going to be like, it's probably going to be like a stream where I just stream. I don't have donations open. I don't have any of that shit open, you know? Username's inappropriate. Okay. If you find that inappropriate, get the fuck out. All right. There's more inappropriate names on Twitch than my CJ the AFK GM, right? In CJ the AFK GM's channel points, rewards, or predictions. In, in channel goals, 
something else. Add new custom scam. You get scammed. You lose these points because you decided to. I have no choice or I have no power in your choice to scam yourself out of points that have little to no meaning. Can report CJ? Alright, do it. How many points should it be, Raptor? How many points should I make scam? If enable only future view requests will skip the queue for view. Maybe. One. One, please. All right. Great. <laughs> you might have to refresh stream, but you could scam yourself on my channel. <laughs> With these worthless fucking channel points. Like, dude. They're fucking worthless, all right? Like, they provide no, like, okay, yeah, they do in a certain, in certain cases, like, hey, redeem scam yourself. <laughs> and I think you can scam yourself an infinite amount of times with these channel points that are, like, basically worthless. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> This is your own doing. I will not encourage encourage use usage. You get scammed. Uh, I'm gonna do this to make sure everyone has the fucking note. You know, this is fun. Yes, it is. Actually, wait. Disclaimer. Okay, I have no power in your choice to scam yourself out of points that have little to no meaning. What I mean by that is literally, what are the only uses of these points? Gamba? And rewards. That's it. You really can't fucking like go in and like turn these points into real cash. You really can't do much else with this. You know, you yeah, you can redeem emotes, but like posture check, I'm doing that right now actually, because I'm I'm ranting about how how these how how like these fucking channel points are fucking worthless. So fuck you, alright? I can eat though through points. I mean, true, true. But like, seriously, if someone is gonna get upset over this, literally, it's 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 self-explanatory. You know what? Self-explanatory. Literally, it's self-explanatory. You know, like I don't, I have zero power in this. You know, they, the only power I have with this is to create or delete this this uh, thing and move on with my life. You know, and I'm going to keep it because it's kind of fucking funny if you ask me, like really funny.
responsibilities to your creators, responsibilities to your viewers, and responsibilities to the multinational global conglomerates that fill your pockets. As a company that is run by literally the richest man in the world, Twitch, you have no excuse to be this irresponsible. Grow up, or you are gonna be so grounded, mister. Copyright infringement is obviously a big deal over here on YouTube. You exactly! Like, every time I put a VOD up onto YouTube, I'm like, bro, it's, it, it's gonna have the, it's gonna be flagged. Now I have to tell the YouTube algorithm or the YouTube editor to edit it and cut the portion out so that I so that YouTube's algorithm can be like, OK, this is fine. It has nothing in it. You know, so I'm like, oh, my God, is it going to get is it going to get the flag? And I'm going to have to wait like another five years for their slow ass fucking editor to go through it and make sure that it's completely gone. And oh, my fucking God, is it going to work? risk demonetization or a copyright strike that could threaten the standing of your channel if you so much as walk into a mall that has copyrighted songs playing in the background. It exactly! Like, this is a reason why I don't really want to, like, go to a public place and stream. No, it's so that I, like, show, oh, this is, like, a town nearby where I live or something, or yada yada yada, but then, like, oh, I just walk into a restaurant and then, you know, have, like, a... Uh, Twisted sister, we're not gonna take it anymore. Blasting in the background, and then I get copy striked for, for an awesome fucking heavy metal song, you know, or like uh, Blitzkrieg Pop by uh, by the fucking Ramones, you know. Hell, even the Beatles, you know, it just get copy striked for anything. It is literally one of the biggest reasons why music theory will never be the fourth theorist channel. As much as I, and I'm sure many of you would like it to be. There are just certain types of content that are too dangerous to touch here on the platform. Yeah! There are these massive archives of practically every video and audio track that has ever existed scanning in real time against your videos to ensure that you're not ripping off someone else's stuff unfairly each time you hit upload or each time you press go live. Raptor, I don't do that to you, all right? You did that to yourself. You're someone saying never going to give you up in the distance, YouTube five head. Most of the time, I know that I've done something wrong before the video even gets published because the system now scans it in advance. Whereas yes, but it didn't do that like a few years ago. So like a few years ago, you actually had to go is never going to give you up in the background. So do I have to make sure I cut it out? Like the YouTube, I, the YouTube check system is decent, actually. Like what it can do is it can actually like attempt to just take the song out of the audio and leave like my voiceover and or like another like just take the song and remove it out of the audio. It's it. OK, I, have I listened to any of that stuff? No. But do I care? Not really, because I just tell it to do it and try to just remove the song and move on with my life. And if the audio sounds weird, it sounds weird. I don't care, you know, because then I'm protected from from uh, Rick Astley from slapping a copy strike on my channel, you know, even though this channel makes you no know, fucking money these Twitch streams, they were showcasing Which entire pisses me seasons off. of shows, uncut, unedited, and honestly unreacted to. Every 20 minute episode available for people to watch for free for months before- Exactly! Like, dude, Funimation and Crunchyroll, they have a subscription service that you can optionally pay, or you can watch anime with ads. You know why? Because Crunchyroll and Funimation go to the Japanese- anime companies and then they work a deal with them saying hey can we put our put your content on this platform and where it's where people have to pay money or watch ads and then we'll pay you a licensing licensing fee so that you guys get a cut of your your uh anime and then we can get our cut of of it so that we both can keep going and everyone can be happy watching anime you know before it ever became an issue. Nothing shows the difference between the platforms more clearly than Ludwig. For those of you who don't know, Ludwig makes great content. I love all the stuff that he produces. This one video alone about how he got views to a secret channel that he created is a masterclass in how digital platforms reward smart people who work hard and think critically. He is a really smart, really creative dude. I highly recommend you check him out. Anyway, L I mean, yes, but also at the same time. 
we don't know what's going on in the background, you know, like we don't know what Ludwig does off stream. So we don't know if Ludwig is actually just like doing something he shouldn't do, you know, but, like I, I do like say, yeah, he seems like he's a, a smart person because let's face it, Asmon is a smart person. Soda Poppins is a smart person. XQC is a smart person. Oh yeah, and by the way, Raptor, PewDiePie's name is Felix. XQC's name is Felix. Are you seeing a pattern here? Both of them, both of them are the biggest names on their respective platforms. So there we go. XQC is the biggest Twitcher. PewDiePie is the biggest YouTuber, and I'm saying biggest YouTuber because PewDiePie is not a corporation. I mean, I could, but it's the throne's already been taken. You know, I gotta somehow dethrone XQC. But dude, XQC doesn't even know his own capital of his fucking country, Canada. He doesn't fucking know it. And he could have fucking Googled it to make him like to make himself at least look a little smarter. You know, like, OK, yeah, maybe our capital is kind of easy because we have a state na named after it. And then we just slap DC onto it. What is it again? I believe it's Owata. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Oh, Tawada? Oh, no, no, uh... Uh... Ottawa. That's how it's pronounced. Yeah, at least you're not... You're not Canada, you know? Or Canadian. Which is fine, but like... Dude, you need to at least know the capital of your own goddamn country. You at least need to know it, because that's where your government's gonna be. And, well, I'm not saying... But like, if you need to do a uprising against the government, then you need to at least know where the fuck to go. The only reason why I I would support a government uprising is if like a totalitarian dictatorship is going to occur, and we live in a free country like America, then obviously we would know where to go to make sure that that doesn't happen. Because yeah, sure, the military has like tanks and all that, but like. Look what the military doesn't have compared to us. Numbers. And let me just tell you. Numbers can win. You know? It's it's simple. But still. You should know at least the capital of your own goddamn country. Unless you're not patriotic of your country at all. Then I don't know what to tell you. You know, like, I, I don't know. Or unless XQC just chooses to be smart with streaming and then stupid in like every other category in the world you know like i get it not everyone is going to be smart in every category but like it's just the capital of your country it's not like all that exactly exactly raptor like straight up and from what i've learned in in school the philippines are a protectorate state of the United States, which means the United States protects them, but that's what I've last learned about, like, what the Philippines are, so, like, I know that, and that's kind of, like, like, yeah, okay, then, if you could consider that within, like, United States, like, education, because, you know, it's technically part of the United States, but, you know, it's just us, like, saying we're providing you military protection not government control you know so it's different but still like puerto rico for example too they're a united states protectorate they're not a state you know but you know but dude they in a way these guys they break toss almost all the fucking time for their streams you know Scam yourself self-explanatory. I spelled explanatory wrong. God damn it. Thanks for showing me Raptor. Viewer rewards, channel points. Save X. There we go. I fixed it. But still, you know. 
Like I don't I wouldn't mind doing it. It's just is it risk versus reward. You know, you gotta outweigh the risk risk versus reward. Like for example, streaming this versus the risk versus reward. I play this, I go up against the biggest name streamers on Twitch. Which my childhood game, Civilization 4, one thing I've learned from that game, never talk attack across the river, never attack up a hill, and definitely don't attack across over a river and up a hill at the same time. You don't want to do that because you lose a shit ton of retreat. Uh, like, the enemy gets a shit ton of defensive bonuses, while you have to go through a river and up a hill to even consider fighting the enemy. Even if you have guns. What game is that? Civilization 4. And Civilization 4 Beyond the Sword. You know, I I'm not going to be playing those games on stream because the music in the game is broken. Like, like what it does is it plays the music even though I turn music off. And then, you know, YouTube's like, uh oh, you played music that you don't own the, the rights to. Uh oh, you know what that means? Bad. So I will not be playing it, unfortunately, but. This is my childhood game, so I, I want it in my Steam library. Last year, he became the streamer with the highest all-time concurrent subscriber count on Twitch, gaining nearly a quarter of a million subscribers in a month thanks to a continuous live stream of his life where each new sub extended the length of the stream by 10 seconds. But it has been 30 days. 30 days total. As the I mean, I wouldn't mind doing like a subathon, but like, here's the thing. If I were to do the subathon, I would have to be doing Twitch full time because I I don't want to do like, oh, I'm going to turn on the stream for four hours a day and then stop because the people aren't going to want to watch the subathon. You know, that's just facts. Clock winds, two minutes left. I got nothing left to say, but thank you. So in late 2021, YouTube swiped him up from Twitch to be an exclusive streamer here, and he immediately got banned. It's my third day on YouTube, and I got banned from streaming. And banned again. I technically got banned once. And banned again. Three times. No. Here's what Asmon said about it. Asmon truly believes that Ludwig didn't get banned. His stream just got shut off for because YouTube algorithm. Why did he get banned? Music. Always wait when it's YouTube. Always assume it's music, especially with the automated system. Just always assume it is music. Like I know I, I don't want to assume, but I remember seeing a, a video on Reddit or something about Ludwig being like, like it's two cars. One's one's Twitch purple. One's YouTube red. And then he gets out of the the Twitch purple car. And then one of his friends who's moving with him to YouTube at the time said, why are you leaving this one for that one? He's like, I can play music. And then, you know, his friend gets out and follows him. And then, boom, he gets fucking banned. He literally said because I could play something along the lines of about music that he could play more music on YouTube than Twitch, which is false because the Twitch system, when it goes to VOD, it mutes the copy sh copyrighted segments that have, are like music and whatnot. Well, YouTube, you either cut that shit out of your video or YouTube cuts it out or you leave it up and you get the copy strike from the IPs. And that's just the way it rolls. But it, Asmon believes this. His stream just got turned off because the bot found, oh, you're you're streaming copyrighted music. You can't do that. So they just shut off his stream to stop it from happening. And Asmon believed that he could just turn his stream back on on YouTube. Through anything offensive, mind you, but because of copyright stuff. He was reacting to top YouTube videos when Pinkfong brought the baby shark ban hammer down on him. Appar baby shark? Apparently DMCA is going to be a little bit more of a concern than I had originally imagined. It's worth Imagine that! Like, dude, I think he had a YouTube channel for a while now. And fucking Ludwig is... Like, he's... Like, seeing him say that makes me believe Ludwig isn't as smart as he probably is. 
for one reason, one reason only. You don't know the like, dude, we have years of people saying how the YouTube copyright system is. And then you go and then you say this, Top YouTube like videos you, you fucking say this on stream. Down on him. Apparently DMCA is going to be a little bit more of a concern than I had originally imagined. It's worth really? You're going to say that when you literally like, dude, when in doubt, Google. I, I mean it. When in doubt, Google. Doesn't fucking matter. Just Google. It's easy. Not hard. If it takes you five minutes, okay, you lost five minutes of your, of your life to go do something like look up YouTube algorithm concerns and then make sure you don't get your channel like take like get your stream banned three fucking times, you dumbass, you know? Worth noting that the other two bands, he was just kind of playing into the whole thing and memeing it up. But anyway, I think he summed it up best here. It is kind of crazy that in the first four days on YouTube, I got banned. In the first four years on uh, Twitch, I never got banned. But growing pains, baby. The platform. You know why you probably never got banned on Twitch? Because Twitch's system doesn't have the automation that YouTube system has. And Twitch kind of doesn't want to put in the automation for like the live streams, but is what it is. Platforms are very different in how they deal with copyrighted works, but why? Well, the issue really comes down to Twitch's copyright enforcement, or lack thereof. I don't think anyone was truly surprised by the takedowns that happened. Damn, Pokey got banned? That's crazy. I mean, it's not that crazy. Uh, Raptor, I believe this man's channel is called Asian Guy Channel, I think it is. Hold on. Who was it? He streams Genshin Impact. He's a Genshin Impact Andy. Asian, Asian guy stream. That's who it was. Asian guy stream. This guy's toast. No, this is this guy is literally named Asian guy stream. Oh, I'm, I'm following brackets real. And this doesn't sound like well, this guy's looks toast. Like we're gonna get a fat right? W here. Oh, for God's sake. Or is that this guy's toast? I'm pretty sure this guy's toast is someone else. This. Disguised toast. Go back to video. Hold on. Disguised toast is, is different than this guy. I can tell by the faces. Listen. Well, it looks like we're going to get a fat W here. Oh, for God's sake. Like, the faces are different, too. I can, I can see the difference in the faces. This guy's toast, can you talk? Oh, thank God. Does this guy's toast talk? Does he have a voice? Yeah, you can tell his voice is really quiet here. But I think you might like this guy's stream. Oh, I'm, I'm following brackets real. I'm gonna link you his well, uh, channel because like I think you might like. W it. like w it. It. Shut up! We're not watching my channel. Shut up! We're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like toast, though. Here, I'll send it. To I have to refresh to connect to chat. You piece of shit. Just connect to chat. It's not hard. You know what? Watch this. Hi, YouTube. You know How Watch you this. doing? Hi, YouTube. You know How Watch you this. doing? What was confusing and frustrating was the inconsistency of the takedowns. While Pokemon and Hassan were getting copyright takedowns, there were others like XQC and Moist Critical who were still doing the same thing with no repercussions. That's because Charles White doesn't openly just straight up pulls up Hunter x Hunter and streams every episode of it. All right. Just like me, I'm not going and looking on YouTube Hunter x Hunter and just streaming it. I'm not going to Crunchyroll streaming it. I'm not doing any of that shit. You know, it's like 
Charles White, when he does his reacts, it's usually content that, like, the IP probably doesn't care about, or the IP is, like, doesn't really have the resources to try to challenge Charles White because Charles White is one of the, is like a fucking pioneer on YouTube. He's like, he's a really old channel when you think about it. I think he started like 2011 or something like that, 2010. So like his channel is, it's been there for a while. He knows what he's doing on YouTube and whatnot, you know? Like I'm still learning the ropes of it. I wish I started learning earlier, you know, but like, you know, hardware limitation. It wasn't a simple case of break the rules, get clapped. Rather, as XQC put it, they enforce based on how likely it is to blow up. It's why boxing stuff is extremely DMCA. It is the most insanely enforced DMCA out there. It's like boxing or UFC. It's ends a takedown because they will take action in real time. Look at them to other. It's the wild west. Nobody knows what's gonna stick, what's not gonna stick. And this is a guy who probably. Also, the WWE, which I'll never be watching their content on this channel. They're extremely insane about their, about like you uploading their content without like their consent. So if there's anything that is WWE in it, I will make sure that it never gets live streamed on my channel. It just won't happen. Probably knows a thing or two about what will and won't get you a copyright notice, considering that last year he got into hot water for reacting to clips of the Olympics. But he does. Yeah, like a fucking clip to the Olympics, like, like really? Like, come on. Does raise an interesting point. YouTube is like an archive of the internet. The videos uploaded by your favorite creators live next to grainy 240p Simpsons clips uploaded back in 2007. That means yeah. that there's an unlimited amount of time for copyright holders to discover copyrighted material and issue takedowns. Conversely, VODs on Twitch only live for 30 days max, and a lot of times the streamers won't even keep the VODs around at all. That means that most of the time when streamers do get caught, it usually has to be live. High profile incidents where the streamers are caught red-handed smacked down in the middle of a stream but here's what asmon said and i actually truly fucking believe that this to be true i believe twitch has a copy of all the vods you know they have like a backup system where all the vods are saved to you know kind of like snapchat and possibly tiktok and all, all these other places i'm positive because well you know, if a crime were to happen and they the person tried to delete it, well, uh, sorry, they have the evidence because they don't want to be held liable for tampering with evidence, too. You know, they want to make sure they have a copy of it. You know? No good. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like, one thing I wish wouldn't happen is that, like, Punishment for those people who did the, the, those stupid threats on, in December on TikTok. I wish they would get punished because TikTok should be held accountable for it. And so should those people too, because, well, it was their choice. I'm positive they were conscious making that choice. You know, like, Sure, maybe there was influence of like drugs or something because you know it, it's just gonna happen. You're gonna have the people who who do all these drugs and whatnot, and there sometimes you just can't control it and whatever. You know, it is what to it catch is. Catch and report these incidents requires a lot more effort on the part of the copyright holder, as they're probably not gonna be randomly tuning into an eight-hour XQC stream at three in the morning on the off chance that he's reacting to some Hunter Hunter. When it does. Well, I, here's what I say. I say yes, because, hell, if they can find an intern who will work for free so that they could try to get a, like, they could get the opportunity to get a better job, they're going to hire the fucking intern, not pay the intern, and then the intern's going to sit there for eight hours going, oh my god, my eyes are melting out of my eyes or my head because I've been watching XQC not streaming what I need to stream to try to ban him so that I can move up the promotion ladder and become CEO of the company in five years so that I I can make a few years worth of CEO money and then quit and then never have to work another 
day in my life ever again, you know? does happen, it's usually for live pay-per-view events like boxing and MMA matches, where the fight organizers want to make really sure that the only way you're seeing Floyd Mayweather and Logan Paul dancing around each other for a rigged fight is to pay $49.99 to insert streaming service here. And the truth- Yeah, I believe that was rigged just so they could try to make Logan Paul look good. I wish it wasn't rigged and Meriwether would have literally knocked Logan Paul out because I truly do not believe that Logan Paul has as many years boxing as Meriwether. Do I know enough about boxing? No. Do I care? No. Because like the thing I, about boxing versus like WWE is boxing you're actually trying to knock the person out. WWE it's all staged. Like, they have code words that they yell in the ring. But, like, us as the spectators don't understand these words. We just see them, like, lift the person and do, like, a, a belly flop or whatever, you know? I don't, I don't fucking know. And we just see that happen. While with boxing, they're literally trying to find their opponent's weakness, get them on the ground, and then start beating the shit out of them till the ref comes over and says, hey, stop. You know? You, you won this round, back off now. That's what boxing basically is. And I can see the pay-per-view stuff because, well, it's, he's going to cover it. It's like 50 bucks for the pay-per-view. You know, like, 50, if one person pays 50 bucks and streams it to 10,000 people, they're missing, what is that, $500,000, I think? It's like CJ fighting Raptor and Smash Bros and then be being a closed game. Exactly. You know, like, or like me beating your ass, even though I've only had like two fights in, in Smash Bros on the GameCube years ago. And then you have years of Smash Bros Ultimate under your belt. You know, it's stupid. Like, I'm sure if, if they didn't have it scripted, I think, I think Meriwether would have just did a one KO and then won the entire match. And everyone would have been like, oh, we went here just to see Meriwether just go bing and he's done for. You know? I would have tired if you destroyed me. I wouldn't I I wouldn't even come close to destroying you. You know, like I might even just get one stock on you. Or you I might like take one of your lives away and that's about it. Fizz, the idea of deleting your VODs on Twitch isn't just something someone figured out one day to help with copyright strikes. It is something that Twitch has explicitly encouraged in their communications with streamers in the past. Yes, but Twitch knows. Seven years in Smash? Goddamn. Jesus Christ. But yes, Twitch obviously knows because they definitely have a backup server somewhere in the world that's backing up all, like, they're backing this live stream up right now, probably. Well, they might back it up when I'm done with the stream, alright? I don't, I don't know how their system works. I don't care how it works. They can back it up, and that's it. And probably by the time I'm popular, they're probably not going to care about these old VODs from, like, years ago, you know? Dude, they they might be. They might be. Hello, Twitch people? Well, I, I would say yes, because, you know, I have logs. I can go to a mod view and pull your ass. Hell, I could probably pull, pull you up right now and pull up your logs. And then see everything you said on my damn channel and ban you. Oh yeah, I could cancel request, gift a sub. Holy shit, Raptor. Look at these logs, dude. Look at look at these logs, man. Whoa. Damn, bro. Look at this. All right, let's click this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jesus Christ. That is some bannable stuff right there. I mean, yeah, it is. Please. Yeah, that's how easy it is for me to look at your logs. Twitch definitely has a backup of your logs, you know, 
But it is what it is. Back in May of 2021, Twitch sent an email out to creators warning streamers about using copyrighted music and responded to, quote, a batch of DMCA takedown notifications with about a thousand individual claims from music publishers. All of the claims are for VODs. Based on the number of claims, we believe these rights holders used automated tools to scan and identify copyrighted music in creators' VODs and clips. I don't know about you, but reading between the lines, it seems a lot like Twitch is telling streamers, this is how not to get caught. Don't save your VODs. And you know what? You don't even have to read between the lines because later in the same letter they outright say quote if you know you have unauthorized music or other copyrighted material in your past vods or clips we strongly recommend that you permanently delete anything that contains that material which is impossible unless you go to the, the twitch backup server go into the the computer and then delete it which i will say this most server computers you don't have direct access to them like you can't take a mouse and keyboard, plug them into that computer and run it from there, you know, or if you're other, I mean, true, like what the way that you access these servers from what I've learned of Linus Tech Tips is like it has all the parts in it, but it doesn't have a video output at all for the for the server. So what you have to do is have it communicate with another computer that can communicate and show you display of it. Which most of the time it doesn't show you like a display of like here's information like it'll show you like here's fault codes that are stored if there's any here's the maximum storage and here's how much of the storage is filled here's some ongoing processes right now here's like some program stuff that's going to happen in the future such as like a backup a like a, a server system check to make sure everything is fine yada 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 so it's it's not like you can just go into these these server computers and then just pull up your vod you have to go through this like entire system to even think about pulling up your vod you know but i mean also at the same time i barely like the most minimalistic amount of me says i don't agree with asmon that they have a backup server because my four hour VODs or like streams are about what 15 gigabytes? I, I'm pretty sure. Hold on, let me pull one up, see, see about it. Alright, uh I don't think that one was a four hour stream. Show me how long that one was. Three hours twenty minutes. Okay, one of my lowest one is seven gigs and that's about three hours and one of my biggest ones is 16 gigs at six hours times that like let's just take six for the base example right so we'll just make it 16 gigs 16 times let's just say there's a hundred thousand users on twitch you need over 1.6 million gigabytes of storage which we're we're getting into terabytes now you know and with how rich amazon is for them getting servers with with petabytes or even yottabytes or even a google byte of storage data is probably like barely a dent in the bank you know which at the same time, I'm almost like, I don't think they would truly have that because at the same time, like, I don't know if they really truly want to try to do all that and go through the hassle of having all those servers. Because you have to make sure, like, the room has little to no dust because dust kills computers fast. And it seems like most streamers got the message loud and clear. And that's just irresponsible, Twitch. You're being a bad influence and setting your creators up for trouble. That whole delete stuff because other people have automated tools and are hunting us down mentality? Yeah, you're too big, you're too old, and you have too many creators depending on you for their livelihoods to play so fast and loose with the rules at this point. YouTube- Uh, I don't say Twitch is too old. Here's why I don't say Twitch is too old. YouTube was born before Twitch. And that's a fact. Twitch. 2011. YouTube. 2005. 
YouTube has Change not my only mind. managed to make a system that works for archived videos, but also for their live content. The systems just automatically scan live streams for copyrighted content and takes them down when necessary. Just ask Ludwig. And guess what? That's not me just being a shill for YouTube. TikTok is working on their version. Heck, even Facebook has a version of live copyright monitoring and they're the absolute worst. Twitch, on the other hand, is just not interested in doing that. A exactly. They don't know that Twitch or uh, CJ is older than... I mean, yeah. You're right, and World of Warcraft is actually older than YouTube. You know, which means some of the first, like, the first year World of Warcraft stuff probably wasn't ever recorded. It's so, like someone literally logging into World of Warcraft on the first day that Warcraft was released was probably not recorded. Which is like basically saying that, like, the, the first cavemen of the world weren't, like, didn't write history down. Which is insane to think about, actually, you know, because it's like, holy shit, the Internet's been around for this long. It's been around since like the early 90s or like the 90s. And we don't even have the first moments of World of Warcraft probably recorded on Twitch or on YouTube. But like, holy shit, dude, that's that's insane to think about. Like, it's not scary. I'm not scared about it because like, I don't care. Yeah, everything's documented nowadays. Like, I get it. You know, because like, like in a way, if I, when I think about it, I'm more of less streaming, not just to document my gaming career, but like to try to build a community and whatnot. And me recording it, which I'm an idiot, I forgot to hit start recording, so I have to go download the VOD off of Twitch. Which I'm fine with, I don't care. It's the same difference. I just prefer to record it just in case something happens and Twitch doesn't save the VOD and then the VOD is never being like never able to be recovered, you know? Because I like unless I had like enough viewers to have partner, I'm not gonna try to complain to Twitch and say, hey, when my VODs from two twenty two of twenty twenty two what is went missing can you help me get it back i'm not gonna try to i don't care you know because i don't have twitch partner i only have twitch affiliate you know so whatever According to a January report by the Washington Post, quote, Twitch has yet to create its own automated system for live content ID, and it does not appear to be in the process of doing so. That is crazy! Twitch, you've been doing live streaming for longer than anyone. If anyone should have been on the front line setting the industry standard, it should have been you. Because Exactly. Like, look what YouTube's doing. YouTube is the first, like, major platform where you can upload videos. And look at their toss. Look at their like content guidelines that you're allowed to post and not post. Look like look what YouTube's yes, sure, YouTube's system is extremely harsh. And you have to be like like pretty little pound and you know, you have to be like so fucking clean that if you go to church, you you're like you don't have anything bad to say, you're just like yeah, I didn't do anything bad this week, so I don't know why I'm here. The hell? Look, I, I care, but I don't care, right? Can you not? And why are they sending a blue alert at 1130? Like, a lot of people are going to be sleeping, you know, like... I, I don't know. I don't know, you know. It, but it is what it is. I don't care. Yeah, we don't. No one sleeps, you know. Even I can get it. I need to turn some of the, these alerts off on my phone because, like, or wait, what? What is blue alert again? Blue alert. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Blue alerts are actually fine. I don't care. Blue alerts will provide the means to speed the apprehension, the apprehension of violent criminals who kill or seriously injure local, state, or federal law enforcement officers. All right, I, I get it. I understand it. You know, because like, really, Jesus Christ, people are so stupid.
well, I, I say people in general, but like there's certain groups of people that are so fucking stupid, you know? Like Jesus Christ. But hey, it's the world we live in. Anyway. Guess what? Not only does it put your creators in the line of fire, but it's shooting yourself in the foot. By not self-policing, by not setting the tone for how copyright is handled on your platform, you are passing the power to third parties. People who are going to be much less lenient, much less forgiving, and when the dam does break in situations like this one, it's going to give your platform and your creators a big black eye. You... Which, here's what I believe what will happen if this dam that game theorist is talking about will happen i think most of these big content creators are going to have the re repercussions if any and then they're just going to go to youtube because they're going to believe oh twitch can't protect us and then boom they're gone you know they're just on youtube now they don't care and then youtube becomes king of well king slash queen of streaming video uploads and then they need to work on shorts so that they can destroy TikTok because TikTok is garbage and a waste of time and a waste of development, in my opinion. Especially because they can't police their own fucking system. It's like, God damn it, Jesus Christ, child pedophiles, Jesus Christ, why does it always come down to that? Why does it always come down to that? Jesus fucking Christ, this world's disgusting. You've been able to get by so far because you've been under the radar. But now, that low profile persona is fading away and this is gonna start happening more and more. And also, don't don't you like money, Twitch? I know your big, big boss man, Jeffy Bezos, does and probably give you a pat on the head if you earned him more. Maybe he'd paint one of his rockets Twitch purple or something. I wouldn't mind seeing that, you know, like, they look Twitch going to space. Growing up as a platform and building these sorts of copyright tools would likely make advertisers, brands, and media companies, all of them, more comfortable with your platform and the content on it. Meaning, ultimately, more money for you and your creators. Just... In, in a way, yes and no, but like, here's the thing too. Asmon Gold slash OTK has a partnership with Pepsi Co. A.K.A. Pepsi. They have uh, Mountain Dew Gamer Fuel as their sponsor. Not through Twitch, but through PepsiCo themselves. Like PepsiCo picked up the phone and called OTK and said, Hey, do you want to do sponsorship? And then, you know, they went through the process of getting the sponsorship and now they're where they are. You know, like, it's not, I don't think it's PepsiCo going, Hey Twitch, we're gonna go to OTK, which I know is an organization that works for on Twitch, and we're going to make a, a deal with them. All right, bet. I don't think that's what happened. Let's consider the meta that we're talking about today, where Twitch streamers are watching TV shows. Twitch has proven in the past that nonstop streams of TV shows could work back in 2017 when the. It okay. Here's why it worked, because Twitch got licensing from these companies to stream Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Duel Monsters and RWBY or RWBY on their platform. They didn't just slap them up there and do it. Like Bob Ross channel, they have license to go slap Bob Ross's stream up on the channel, on, on, like on its own channel and have it run 24 seven, you know? So this is not Twitch, like, this is Twitch getting the licensing to go use the content for X amount of time. They did a two week live stream marathon of Yu-Gi-Oh! on the official Twitch Presents channel to an audience of tens of thousands of concurrent viewers that were monetized by frequent ad breaks. Give you that real authentic TV experience. Uh, internet and the TV truly have become one and the same. That may have been a one time event, but then what about the official Bob Ross channel? That one's going strong, doing 24 and 48 hour streams of the joy of painting, with each yeah. stream reaching over 100,000 views. And yeah, you can purchase a channel subscription to Twitch user Bob Ross. Examples like these show that the Twitch TV meta doesn't have to be a legal liability if Twitch is willing to turn it into a legitimate commercial opportunity. But then they have to go get licensing fees and all that shit, which involves lawyers, and lawyers are expensive no matter who the fuck you are. And that's just facts, alright? Lawyers are just expensive. Like, my dad taught me this. 
certain jobs such as lawyers are there and what their main job is to do is to have a reason to have their job you know not to actually just have a job they design a reason to have a job such as these legal contracts for example you know like they make it to where like you probably wouldn't understand a fucking thing about a raptor you'd probably go through it and be like oh i'll be making ten dollars an hour and that's all i basically understand of this fucking contract unless i get a contract lawyer who tells me yeah this this is contracts fine you're you'd be making ten dollars an hour as long as you don't fuck up you know that's basically what it is but at the same time it's still like language that like yes but you know what i mean raptor like i'm, I'm like, i appreciate the the role play but like i'm just like s stating for like real life stuff you know not only just for you but i'll look stop you already told me about the blue alert i know there's a fucking murderer on the loose okay we are look someone's gonna apprehend him or even worse do i care what happens to this person to a certain extent, yes, I'd rather him be off the streets, or rather them be off the streets, in one way or the other. But do I care which way? No. You know, it is what it is, though. I don't care. But, uh, like, th this is also for, like, other people who don't, who don't really understand this, like... Players are fucking expensive, you know? They justify their job. They don't actually really need their job, they just justify it and it's pathetic in a way but also at the same time you know it is what it is you know i will say this i hate privatization it is fucking pathetic and garbage right now there's an underground whisper network of what shows you can get away with streaming on twitch without getting a copyright strike but instead of that what happens when a company with a big nostalgia property decides to openly give twitch streamers permission to use their content or pay them to do it say i don't know get a popular streamer to do a marathon of the ghostbusters cartoon to get people excited for when the new ghostbusters movie hits theaters or get true true and by the way i need to go into genshin and do my fucking like finish this one daily so that I can get my battle pass daily done. Popular Twitch streamers to stream their live reactions to the first few episodes of a new season of TV. I mean, let's be honest here. If Pluto TV can manage to get streaming access to every random rerun out there in the universe to fill 250 channels of free 24-hour content, then why not you, Twitch? And hey, you have Amazon Prime videos and exclusives over there. You ever think about getting streamers to react to those? Maybe No one gives a shit. If someone wants to go watch John Wick, do you think the first reaction is, let me go to Twitch to see if XQC is reacting to it? No! No! No one, no one, like, that I know, like, or at least the, the crowds of people I know, would want to go fucking do it. And I, I will say this. It, when... Uh, I mean, yeah, not you, but hey, it has Keanu Reeves in it, alright? We can all appreciate Keanu Reeves. But either way, Soda Poppin was doing the the Prime Watch Party. You know what it, the screen it gave me? Because I don't have a Prime subscription to his channel. Or Prime subscription at all, but like, I, I have... Like, I'm pretty sure we have Amazon Prime, which gives me Twitch Prime, which means I could sub to one channel for free. The reason why they call it free is because they're including it in your... your, uh... your subscription to Twitch Prime. Or Amazon Prime. Anyway. I wasn't even able to fucking watch it, even if, even though I had... Am even though I have Amazon Prime. I'm not even allowed to watch watch him do it or unless i didn't link my account properly but at the same time i didn't give a shit i'm like this is a tv show i don't care about like dude you want to know the last time i like actually watched a tv show probably 10 years ago all right and i was back when i was younger you know starting to learn you know about like how you know down there works anime okay no the, this was the Disney Channel back in the day when I was like, wow, those girls are hot. 
and they're probably my age. And then I, I realized, okay, those girls are probably like six years older than me or something. You know, they're like 18 plus and I'm over here. It was like a, a 12 year old going, wow, she's hot. You know, and then, yeah, it is what it is, though. But like, I need to get back in a fucking anime. I do. But here's the thing, too. If I want to stream and then I have to go to work and school, I'm not going to have time for anime. And I'm not streaming anime on Twitch because even though the suspension sounds interesting for channel growth, I'm not just going to try to put that onto my my wrist to go, hey, I'm going to stream anime and get banned. Derive interest in all those random art house films that you're always paying people to make. Or, you know, the good shows like Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which is fantastic and deserves more love. We live in an oversaturated media environment where hype is more important than ever for getting people to care about new movies and shows. And so doing stuff like partnering with streamers has huge impacts for viewership and brand awareness. Yeah, but also here's the thing, too. The, the partnership doesn't have to be, like... In this case, NBC Universal and Twitch. It could be NBC Universal and XQC. And the reason why I'm using XQC is because he's one of the biggest name streamers on Twitch. Yes, sure, he's smart, but at the same time, he's not smart, but whatever. You know, like, he knows kind of what you can and can't do. I, I don't want to just read the Twitch toss on stream at some point. You know, to try to more or less understand it on stream so that I can kind of have an idea of what the fuck I can and can't stream. But still, I, I kind of don't care, but still, you know. Yeah, I go, no, no, that's illegal. I'm probably going to finish this and then do Geshin, but good night, mate. <laughs> you love that. You fucking love that, Raptor, goddammit. Talk to Ira Leah. Did you talk to her today? Did you talk to her today? Tell me yes or no. It better be a yes. If not, you better talk to her tomorrow. I think it's a coincidence that the Bob Ross painting challenge became such a big trend over here on YouTube on, after rapper. the Bob Ross Twitch stream revitalized his name in the public consciousness. So when I say that do Twitch it. needs to grow up as a platform, do I don't it, mean rapper. that in a finger wagging old no grandpa school today? Damn. here on YouTube knows the best kind of way. I also told YouTube it was time to grow up last year, so it just seems to be the kind of thing that I do now. I see roads, bruh. Bro, just go off roading. Easy, zero deaths. But good night, Raptor. Dad Pat's final form has truly been unlocked. I know there's always going to be resistance to the idea of becoming more corporate. Everyone wants to be the underdog rebel who doesn't play by the rules. But as we just talked about, there are clearly ways to have fun and make a profit for everyone while still following the rules. Twitch is so close to getting things right, but it's the creators that can really help make this final change. Don't. I mean, yes and no, but it, because it also has to do with with the uh, United States copyright infringement laws and how they haven't been updated since 1998 or something like that. Just try and get away with what you can. Push Twitch to do better, to be clearer with its guidelines, to partner with more companies. The point is, at the end of the day, it's great to be a rebel, but once you have people depending on you, their lifestyles, their homes, their families, their employees, you have a responsibility to be a good partner to them as a business. Were your yeah, creators true. in the wrong in this situation? Absolutely. I don't think anyone could claim ignorance or reasonably argue otherwise. But do you, Twitch, share in the blame for creating an ecosystem where exploits and under the radar tactics? take priority over responsible growth yes to that too and it's especially disappointing when there are so many other cool opportunities that you could be working to build for the benefit of everyone so get out there kiddo make better choices there bud mom and i'll be rooting for you from over here but oh my fucking god i mean yes they can do more with with amazon prime but they are doing a lot with it and it hurts small streamers aka prime loot it sucks because then everyone goes to the streamers that have have uh, drops enabled and then you know you get your fucking drops and then you go to your big name streamers because you know obviously they can have it because they have partner and they have the special access to it you know they have all, probably a lot more than I 
can never imagine of having for drops. But hey, that's just a theory. A gaming platform theory. Thanks for watching. And here's just a final reminder to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and mark your calendars for February 19th so you don't miss that final security breach theory, as well as the live stream that follows. It's been a long time since we did one of these massive theory crafting. Okay, yeah, streams. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna we're gonna do We're gonna do Fire Flower and Ice Flower. And then I'm gonna end stream because fuck. I don't need Amber for this fight. Amber won't do shit for this fight. She's just gonna Time to begin work? Yes, she's gonna backseat game. No, oh, I won't take that. I love the ragdoll physics that the it goes through. All of you get wrecked. You are ineffective, you dumb flower. No, switch to fucking Barbara and stun the flower. I'm not gonna worry about the flies because they're worthless. I'm not gonna care about them either. I don't. Where'd the flower go? Uh, where did it go? Did it reset? I mean, I don't care if it did. You piece of shit. It has been not matter because boom. Come on, Sophie, just deal damage. I'm not gonna deal with the flies, they're worthless, they're wasting time. Just shit. We yeah, already did mining in here, what am I doing? Charge it up and pop. You can't touch me. Barbara puts it out, and then Ganyu gets back to work. Why do I always get hit? Jesus Christ, I'm terrible. Well, just deal damage. You know, this is my favorite part of the boss fights, obviously. Alright, we need this to happen. Actually, this first, and then... You bitch. So it proved to be ineffective. Oh wait, it worked? I didn't know it. I didn't see it work, goddamn. Just keep dealing damage and kill the flower. 
Alright, Bobber, finish him off. No, I should have done that. We're way behind schedule. Next on the agenda. Take this! Born of ice and frost. Just take the damage, I don't care. Holy shit. That was a good shot. Shit on the waist of it, I don't care. Uh, Frostflower. Alright, we're doing Frostflower and I think Fireflower once more. Maybe. God damn it. I have to change because Ganyu won't do anything against his boss. Outrider Amber reporting. But yeah, that's right, I upgraded Amber's attack. Jesus Christ. Lightning flash. God damn it. This flower, it just got easier for me. I don't know why. Till the roots show. Uh, graphics. Let it rain. Switch. All right, I'm gonna have them eat because this is not gonna end well. Throw the dolls so we can get some points. I hate this. I hate that ability on this boss, but it is what it is. I don't care.
There's the graphics. As a good knight should. I must leave no stone unturned. No, I'll just finish him. There we go, Noel did amazing. Alright, I don't think I have enough to do another boss, so I'll be it. probably yeah, we don't. Uh expedition's complete. Shit. Mine ten items. Alright, I'm gonna complete dailies, but that's it out. And then I'll download the VOD and then price slap it elsewhere. Add Astra Abyssal. There we go. I mined ten items. I think I have furniture I need to collect. So we'll collect furniture and then I'm done. Would you care to sit down and join? No. Noelle's level nine. Jesus Christ. Look at Noel go. Make that. Make that. That. And make that. I don't care. It gets me XP. Whatever. If you ever have it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. You're watching on YouTube. Head on over to twitch.tv slash cjd. Him that catch these live. Watch this live. I will definitely see you in the next stream. See ya.